Good morning, everybody. Hey, Vince, how's it going? You are first in line this morning. Congratulations. You do not win a prize. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have no prize. Oops. I just screwed my video thing up here. Hang on. Going to the guy now. There we go. How are you doing today, Vince? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, get my stuff a roll in here. Put a two spot. Hey, second. How's it going, Joe? Okay, two. Yep. All right. Uh, I tried to run two PCs with cameras and. Uh, didn't quite work. I haven't got that part figured out yet. But otherwise, everything's going good. How's everybody doing? Pretty happy it's Friday. You see my tweet that I put out just a little bit ago? Look, this thing here. Then I'll just go on to you. I think I am, huh? He turned out freaking awesome. I had a little bit of a little bit of problem with a couple of the spines right in this area. But otherwise he is uh, beautiful. Trying to get some work done. Too much to do. Too little time. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. I'm, just, I'm not going to paint this much. I'll do the eyes and maybe the horns. Yeah. And the images look nice. And uh, chip out the teeth here a little bit. And uh, that'll be about it. I think that's all I'm going to do to him. 200%. I forgot to put the thingy first uh, link in there. But that's all right. And that, uh, Took a while. It was two twenty hours, I think it took. Oh, and I was gonna show you another one, but it wouldn't work. I don't know why it won't work. I turn OPS on and I can see myself. I have the screen key in there so no we're going. But it still shouldn't matter. Oh, I should show me join in again. I wonder if I need to join in like I think my daughter or something. That would be more good in there, Tony. I should join in there. Hang on, okay. I don't know why my camera's not working. Okay, we're just going like that. I don't know why. Make sure that I'm both active. I'm two cameras on this computer. So it should show them. What if I go to where would I go? It just won't let me do two different cameras at once. Well, now it's good. Now we can grab the camera. What's that? Face cam? No. Yeah, that's weird. You know, it shows me on there twice, but it won't let me bring up my other cameras. Ooh, I click on it here. You guys don't see them, do you? I don't think so. 
to present to everybody. Back to what? No, I don't do it. Um, yeah, it must be that I'm on twice. That's what it must be. It's a book that's real. Yeah. So, yeah, I gotta figure that out. I gotta figure it out. I'm trying to find uh, something else cool to print. I see you in three other cameras. Yeah, on this one, but not on my other... On my other screen. My other computer. I, my other computer has two cameras on it. I was going to try to join the Hangout twice with two different computers so I could have more cameras active, you know? <laughs> Just for s and Gs. But, hey, dude, good morning. Good morning. The live. Oh, my God, it looks like you got a big old box behind you. Yeah. Do you order more filament? Or is that an old box? Uh huh? So that Zyltec box, is that an old box or you order more filament? No, no, that's just uh, all my junk in there. Oh, okay. Good morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, it just looked like a box full of filament or something. <laughs> yeah, just using empty boxes. Yeah. I hear you there. Oh, did you have a good day with your brother yesterday? Yep. Good yeah. Went to the NRA banquet last night. Nice. I'm waiting for everybody to get up so we can. We still got more stuff to do today. Oh, not gonna be around long today, eh? Uh, not gonna be around long today. No. Yeah, I'm just uh, printing away. Oh, do you see this thing? Oh, nice. Yeah, it out pretty good. That's at Uncle Mike's. No, no, this is this is just um, that silver I get off of uh, eBay. Oh, the eBay one. No, oh, no, Uncle Jesse's still printing. He's about halfway there, I think. <laughs> That's a doom mask that I'm printing with Uncle Jesse. Yeah. yeah. That's what my other computer was up for. See if I can get it to uh, bring up a couple more cameras. Yeah. So two cameras on here, but it's just not uh, letting me do it, you know? They're running one of the new laptops. Yeah. Yeah. I just gotta try it. You know, I just, oh, don't end broadcast. I'm gonna show this thing, man. I guess I can just catch it out of here. That should get me out again. Try to shut it down over there and then, uh, <laughs> I'm going to shut the stream down. Yeah, yeah. I was printing this yesterday morning. This is the first attempt. This is 250%. Yeah. And uh, I was printing away. I had both these printers going. My coffee cup or my coffee pot going. My feet got cold, so I turned on my heater, and that, that was it. Computer, you know, and everything all in one circuit. It decided, no, that you ain't playing that game. Overheated the circuit and popped a few. Morning. How you doing today, Ed? But I'll we'll probably have you order me a roll of filming from Amazon. Need a roll of red. 
I got 15 bucks. I got enough for it. If my order will take two weeks. If you order it, it'll only take two days. <laughs> so I'll send you that money today and uh, information. I can probably do it right now. You order it, it'll only take two weeks. Probably send you the money right now before my wife takes it or PayPal takes it. Or me and eBay. Morning at the Pause Projects. Sitting at the Pink Report. I need to open up another screen. I gotta look to see how much it is. You quit making that noise over there, you goofy bastard. $13.99. Oh, it went down. It's on sale. It's only 14 bucks now. I'm pretty sure you can do Prime on this. Yeah, I know it's Prime. I just don't have Prime. I will send it to you. Oh, I don't have ship card open. One second. There we go. Now we'll find it. Yeah, quickly. There we go. 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 Send friends or family money. I always do that. Send friend and family money because uh, it is, and you don't have to pay nothing. Yep. Yes. And yeah. Now. Thank you. Send. All right, you have money. And in Discord, I sent you the the number. Yep, I got it. Okay. Thank you. Fourteen bucks should be enough. There we go. And that's the deal, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we all got there. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I might even get that Sunday. Sunday or Monday. Hell, might come tomorrow. <laughs> Just in Madison, you know. Yeah, I've been keeping these printers busy, you know. Yep. Not making paper coins or uh, making something. I want to get this. I'll get my under here. I right, see now. Here's something for you guys. Can I put a point two nozzle on this thing? I know it will take longer, but one of them prints will probably come out nice, won't they? Print out a point two layer height, or well, less than that, of course. What do you think? I think I have a point two somewhere around here. Yeah, we could down to a point eight again, or a point six. Or no, I can't. You still have to stay around that. It will look quite nice. Yeah, it'll take a long time though. Huh? <laughs> I suppose before I do it, I should find something that I want to print. Find something that I want to print and then um, slice it. Oh. Or we can go quick. I got both extremes here 0.2 or uh, 1.0. <laughs> I suppose I have to find something I want to print. And, uh, 
I, I was looking, looking at helmets. I was thinking of, um, I was thinking, because I have dreams, so I was thinking of, uh, what's his face, his helmet, um, Green Ornit helmet, or Green Ornit, or Green Goblin. Green Goblin helmet. I was just sitting there looking through helmets right now. I get out of that too. There we go. I'm trying to think of something green to print, you know. I don't want to paint, I just want to print. <laughs> Yes, I'm just kind of that way. It's all about the print. Piss on the paint. Until I get a good airbrush, I don't want to paint too much. Green Bay Packer helmet? No. Oh, yeah, I drink that one to be freaking cool, to, but I don't know what color it is. Definitely not a... Lord's helmet, his brother, Luki's helmet, with the big old hooks up there. I forget what color is his helmet that he wears. I hate when they don't have pictures. Oh my, oh my god, they have this thing broke up into like 37,000 pieces. Either whole or 10,000 pieces. I just get the freaking horns off you, pinheads. Holy moly. That's a lot of pieces. Oh, and I did that uh, dragon with the uh, Kira with three supports. Man, was that three supports and a uh, roof. I like that roof feature, you know, because it like wraps apart and it really does a good job of making a nice finish on it. I like little piece on it. One day I'll print that. I think it's green, so I think the thing I'm gonna have is a green goblin. Tell me how many I can think of that's green, eh? Yeah, that's it. Seventeenth. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Alright, thank you, sir. Got some more stuff on there too. I was trying to see what would sell because I know I had enough money to do a bigger order through Zyle Tech, you know. But I really need to get that some TPU from them. Because, uh, I need to print some tires, some hard tires. I don't think would work out too well, huh? I just don't think it worked out too well. I like him too.
what do you think about this one? That one right there. D. Huh? Look at that one right there. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Download. Let's go to... Oh, I think it's this one. shouldn't be doing that in here, should I? I ain't got a quick and I should be doing that on there. I don't bump this system down. So keep on forgetting I have somewhere else I can do this at, you know? everybody going to do this weekend? Can you see that? What's that? No? Huh? It looks like snow out there. I'm going to say that's wide open windows and bright sun. I know. Look like snow though. That's what I'm going with, snow. You're crazy for having your windows up and you want to snow it out. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to block the light so you can see out there. <laughs> yeah. And I, um, and I, and trust me, I can see out there. Hey, it was 63 degrees yesterday. Figured open up with some of the cool air come in this morning before it gets too hot out. Yeah. Before it gets too hot out. Hey, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Chilling folder. I tried printing. That one can stay. That, that, that spinny pen thing, you know, that rotate. 
Uh, windmill things like, you know? Yeah. And they locked together, and it got that far and knocked these bastards, and knocked two of them over. <laughs> it took me off. I, I tweaked it up a little bit and everything, you know, to get it just right. Because they have a three three version of it, where you can do all where you can do three spinnies. Yep. And so I, uh, the base was made into three pieces. So I took it in, of course, to my favorite program, Tinkercad. And I uh, grouped them all together and got them all just perfect and everything. And I was going to do three of them in three different colors and a base of different color. And, well, that just didn't work out too well for me. And so uh, it broke. It pissed me off. So now I'm going to wait. I don't know when I'm going to do it or if I'm going to do it or what. I wanted to take it to Murph, but we'll see. Alright, we got the gobbler in there. That's it out of there. It's good to be open no more. Oh, you know what I don't have on here? Or do I? I have that on here. I'm trying to put that on here. I did. Oh, Sierra. I think, like, yeah, I ain't got Sierra on here, but I do. I'm actually use it already for slicing. I just want to get this print going and then I'll uh, start working on my foam. Yeah. I was, uh, what I got thinking about my foam was, you know, because I want to collapse both, so it's got to, you got to hold the edges together, but then you got to release the edges and everything. So, what would work good for that? Velcro. I figured I'd put Velcro on the edges, you know, to lock them together. I figured that might work good. All right, let's see. Solid. Head solid. I don't know what a head solid is. Oh, that's a big ass head. You gonna tell me he can't do that? Hmm. Oh, Oh, that's the STL. He's got the STL on it, I don't know what one it is. wonder why he has the eyebrows cut out. Yeah, that ain't gonna go on there. Hell, I don't know if we'll fit on the damn tomato. I cut it off right there with that fit. Zyle Tech just added some nozzles for the volcanoes. Oh, yeah? The uh, stainless steel for, for the volcanoes. Yeah. Uh, 0.4 and 0.8. Oh. New 3D printer stainless steel nozzles compatible with volcano. Looks like the Pause Project said awesome. Thank you. Thumbs up. I'm going to put this 
Flexible hinge joints. Uh, I'm gonna have to be sliced right up behind the freaking head, man. Some door hinges for 3030 and 2020. Oh, yeah, I've seen them door hinges. We're kind of cool. Where the that'd hell be, are we just today? That'd be nice for enclosing the hypercube for printing ABS and stuff. Uh huh. Them are something that are definitely printable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually have a set of projects that great. How much more do I owe you for the shipping? I had something I kind of have already printed off once. I have them around here somewhere. It's gone. Let me go to my collection. Oh, two or three. Not one, just three. Of course not, it's two. Damn thing, I hate that. I'm always looking in the wrong spot. I might have to end up going with the... And helmet. And my fat. Uh, no, that's the only way he comes. I definitely I want to make a full size, so that's another tomato print. That thing's turning on nice. You get some little hang-up buggers, you know, but that's about it. I just don't know what else to print. Oh, something green. Oh, I could do uh, the pickle guy. Pickle Rick. Pause project six. Pickle Rick. Four. Yeah, I can maybe do a pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. What they got for pickle rack? I mean, I'd have to paint his arms and shit, but he's definitely green. Yeah, for 
right now. Goblin, but uh, bring the dragon. Oh, you didn't see my dragon? Want to see a dragon? Where am I here? He's not green, but he's no show. Then truck dies in this driveway. Uh, that's a dragon, eh? Like that one, Ben? I don't even sit there. I don't sit right that way. There, I don't even sit there. Nice. That one I did yesterday. Oh, whatever. How the hell can you find nothing for a lizard? I don't remember what else they had out there for dragons. What's up, gentlemen? Hey, Joe. This is easier than being in that chat drive. I could do that, that little guy in it, the cute dragon. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You do them at like 10 times scale, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then bring them to me at Murph. <laughs> this one I'm here. Hang on, just a second. Let me show you. What color green is it? I mean, is it like the green in my maker coin? Is it a little bit oh, darker? It's right there, you can see it. Oh no, you can't. That's the dragon. Right? That yeah. One? Yep, okay. that's the one. And then yeah, just about the green in your maker coin there. It's hanging here. It's, right, it's about the same? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's about the, yeah, same. the biotech green's about that same. Yeah, close to that. Okay. Yeah, I guess what? I can read. Um, what else? What else could you possibly print? I, that kind of... I wasn't going to do a freaking frog, that's for sure. Slimer! Um, maybe... Yeah, it goes both Slimer. Yeah. Let me see what we got here. I can't remember if, it, if he's on Thingiverse or My Mini Factory. There's a really cool Slimer that would be perfect for that green. I think I remember seeing that. 
Let me see. But yeah, my, my day is gone. I show up to the customer's house. The house is vacant. Like, there's nobody there. There's a for sale sign in the front yard. So I call the customer like three or four times, leave messages. Call my boss, who then proceeds to call this guy three or four times. And then about 10 till 9, I'm like, I, I, I can't sit here any longer. So I call my boss and say, all right, well, I guess he's not going to show. Send me my next call. Then I go to start my truck to back out and head the, to the next call's direction. And it goes click, 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 click. <laughs> like, oh, no. So that, that's how my day started. What about the slime, the Ghostbusters um, dog, that that terror dog, that Bitcoin dog? Those were black, though. Oh, well, were they? Well, they were made of stone, technically, but oh, yeah. they were originally gargoyles. Yeah. <laughs> but in the movie, Slimer, they're actually black. Slimer with Trump's head on it. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, look better with Obama with those big ass ears. Yeah, but still, this is funny. That one's funny. Come on. I love the jurisdiction differences in this city. <laughs> so, hey, to my right, there's a Cincinnati police officer directing traffic. At the cross section of this intersection, there's a sheriff directing traffic on the other side because the, the city separates at the college. Even though it's in the middle of the city, it separates at the college. So the CPD can't cross that line so Hamilton County has to take over. It is so dumb. You got me off topic here now. I'm allowed. No, not you. D. Oh. He sent me something in his ring. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Slimer here. Yeah, there are a couple of cool Slimer ones. I mean, that's the perfect green for a Slimer. Especially like the cartoon version versus the movie version. Well, they don't really have a cartoon version. Well, I mean, in reality, the cartoon version is almost identical drawing-wise as the Slimer, but the Slimer in the movie green is different. Is more? It's more of an emerald dark green, street sign yeah. green, as I call it. Let's yeah, see, they have this one here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's the movie style. It don't matter. He's going to look cool either way. You get the right support. The on okay, I forgot to ask you guys. In Cura, what is that support that you use, Mike? The shell support thing? Roof support? Is that what that's called? Yeah, to make it so you get a better print. Yeah, where it basically has like an ooze shield. Yeah, yeah, it's shell support, or a roof. You can do a roof and a floor. We really don't, what you'd need a floor for, I don't know, but, you know, I just use so, it. So if I put in roof support, it'll do the shell for me. Yeah, yeah, it'll wrap, it won't wrap the whole model, it'll wrap where the support is. Right, well, I was thinking of testing that and trying to figure out how, I could incorporate that properly to make my mixing nozzle work right. Oh yeah. Without having to do an entire shell. Yeah, they really don't have the cartoon version much, you know. Yeah. It's all kind of in one. I don't like the looks of that one. Yeah, you can do that. I mean that's what I did this dragon with. Yeah. Oh, the dragon I just did, and I mean, they come off so nice. They actually did tree supports on it with uh, the roof. 
Now, see, my my Kira doesn't show tree supports. Oh, you got to add them on. It's a special Kira. All the way out at the bottom. All the way at the bottom. All right. Well, then, next time, uh, next I should be on Hangouts tomorrow. My wife works with me. So, if uh, you got a Hangout going tomorrow, maybe you can walk me through. Because I don't use Kira that much, but I've been slicing a few models as tests with it. Yeah. Since I usually use Kira and Repetier. Well, it doesn't have all of the Cura supports. Yeah. yeah, it's got grid and rectilinear. Those are the only supports are lined. God, I hate line. I don't even know what the point of line supports supports are. are. There's no point. No, not really. Not really. But, uh, but thinking about doing a Going to nozzle. That's all I ever use. Point two? Point two. Oh you do. On my on my other printer, not on the Z9. The Z9 is still point four. Because like that dragon I did with the point four at point zero eight clear height. That's what I'm doing the mask at too. So Ooh. That's that's really pushing it. Why? Well, the point eight is the max that you can do with a point four nozzle. Yeah. I mean, point no. Two, you can be able to do a point four layer height, ain't it? Point two, you can do point four at point four. Or point zero four. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm thinking. Point two, you can only do a point two layer height. At point four, you the max you should be able to. Accomplish cleanly would be a point four to point six. Point eight, I mean, you're you're. God, you had to over extrude by like twenty five percent. No, zero. You forgot a zero, brother. Zero eight. Oh, okay. I thought you said point eight. I did at first, and I was like, no, point zero eight. That's yeah, that's better. So yeah. you'd have to over extrude so hard to get a point four to go to a point eight layer. I oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm sorry. It'd be easier. Which one? This one here's been downloaded the most. I mean, why does everybody download him? It's like it only has one picture. I don't even have it printed. I don't like printing things like that. I'm with you there. Alright, let's click. Alright. Okay, no, I don't need to download yet. Go over here and download it. I have a scooter. Chat room? Oh my god, this chat's big! Calm down there, Mike. PG, man, PG. But you're not just getting things going. She's got a butt that would make me proud of it with me, you know? Hey, happy boy, you Jeff. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta light me an incense. Can't just took a crud. It's bad. What hey, are you now. printing on the other printer there? Oh, make her coins. What a bunch of crazy old dudes called that. And then, oh, well, you can't even see the this one. Can you, uh, where is it? Uh, that's the one that I put the uh, mask on, the uh, Doom mask, full size. It's three and a half days, basically. Doom mask? Are you talking about uh, Sarge? Sarge's mask? I don't know. Said Doom Mask, didn't it? Well, I mean, there's Doom yeah. Guy, there's uh, uh, just wait. Doctor Doom. Uh, it could be him. Actually, I'm gonna look. Just give me one second. I forget. Something. One second's up. Not 
don't know how they put it. Uh, I don't know either. Put it in place. I might have. Which I did. Do you day. know what, Mike? I got I, I got a challenge for you now. After you. Find that? that there's a there's a version of that cute dragon that I print. That's that's my go to Benchy. Your what? That's my go to Benchy. Which one? The cute dragon. Okay. Because I mean, it's got. You have to have supports. So you have to test your supports. You have to. You have distances between the wings, all kinds of stuff. So. It's perfect for me, but beyond that, there is a version of that on Thingiverse that comes without support. You have to add your own. I would like to see your tree support or your roof support or both and see how they look on that print because I've been trying to find a different way to print it where I don't have to dig into the, the model to get a couple of the supports out. Okay. Leave, you know, the, the supports that are on it are the mesh mixer supports. And those those adhere to the print so bad. And yeah. uh, they leave pock marks, which I mean they're easy to clean up, but I would rather not have to clean them up every time. Yeah. Okay. Well, this one here. Oh, yeah, it does have support on it. Right. There's, um, there is a version of it. I think if you type in cute dragon no support, it'll pop up. Two headed. All the the cuddling drag cute cuddling dragons. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. I was trying. I was like you. I was trying to find something to print in green. There is something you can print in green. There is a uh, a pot of gold. It's just the the cauldron with the shamrock on it for Saint Patty's Day. Yeah, I was thinking that too. That's seasonal. Yeah, I printed one yesterday. It actually worked out pretty well. These little handles on the side actually hit the no support on it. Yeah, I'm trying to find your no support to keep dragging. How you doing, Ben? I'm seeing you there. Is it Hawk? Yeah. Hi, Hawk. Yeah, yeah. Hawk's here. Vince is here. Um, Mama's here. We've got, we've got pupils here. Good morning. This jacket is here. I have looked at both of these the other day from my mini and Pinchy. I might think of one. How you doing today, Ben? I hear the cute dragon with both the horns, but it has a print in it. Has a loop on its head. All the the key ring ones. I typed in no support, but that's not what it comes up really. The other one's got like antlers, little dragon. Yeah, I'll I'll oh. find it later and I'll send it to you because I know I have it on my computer. I just don't want to remote in right now. What is it? Uh, what's the other one? Pot of gold with a leprechaun. It, it's a um, it's a pot of gold with uh, shamrock on it. There's two versions. There's a blank and one with the shamrock. So you just put in a pot of gold or St. Patrick's Day or St. Patrick's, and it'll it'll pop up. You'll see it. I should just do St. Patrick's Day. That's what I did. That's where I found it. St. Patrick's Day. Let's see what it comes up for. Let's see what it comes up with. Damn it. Oh, that's good. 
So I heard you had some crazy weather too yesterday, Mike. Nice and warm, you mean? Nice and warm. Yeah, yeah. We had we had horrid winds. We uh, there's a gas station that I drive by every day when I'm working. The roof is gone. Oh yeah. Yeah, the the roof that they put over the pumps with the BPs. Yeah. The, the entire roof structure is gone. Ripped it clean off. <laughs> I am, um, you know, really, I can't say too much about it because I guess I never left the house yesterday. <laughs> I was actually uh, streaming, streaming yesterday during the the beginning of it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, my power went out. I was like, what the heck? So I turned my computer back on. I didn't even go back upstairs. I just stayed down at the computer. My wife comes down like an hour and a half after I get everything back up and running. And she's like, um, you do know that there's the sirens are going off, right? I'm like, no, noise canceling headphones. Sorry. Like, I'm in the safest place anyway. Yeah, you're in the basement. What the hell? That's a bunch of tornado warning in our area last night. Well, I know the sirens didn't go off here because they're right outside my freaking door. Yeah, we ended up having tornado warning. We had sirens go off four times yesterday. Oh. I think is what I, I remember hearing. Vince, Vince couldn't tell you. He'd know. Vince knows everything. I'm sure he was running emergency response calls. <laughs> Trying your pot of gold. <laughs> well, I'm trying to shift that way. Either. All right, well, gentlemen, you have fun. I'll be back shortly. I uh, I gotta go take a look at a boiler. Okay, go take a look. We'll do. See ya. Yep. He hasn't moved in a while. Sleeping for dinner. He's gone now. He's there. He goes. Hello, 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 hello. Ah, there he is. I think. Yeah, here's the cute dragon with no support. Okay. He wants me to new folder. No. Cookie cutters, no. I want back. Well, I'll put it in a new folder. What the hell? I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. That was dumb. I need to collect it. I'm not slicing it on that one. I'm slicing it on this one. What's up? Face with tears. Remember all. Face, face with tears. Have joy. 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 I'll do that in here. We're not putting toys, eh? Yeah. I know, I ain't never gonna get nothing done on my damn. Oh, 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 nice bed. Sorry if I had to make me smile. I'm having a crap day. Oh, yeah? What's the matter? Don't you poop on your parade there, Ben? Thanks, Joe. Uh -huh. Alright, well, I guess we'll do cute dragon. Download. Slash What's that? Where'd it go? Oh, 
Hey, hey Ron. Woke up that flower. No Wi Fi, nothing. And my youngest dog was sick three times. Oh! Can it be tomorrow? I've had enough. LOL. Hi, Ron O. Canada. Ron O. Canada. That's funny shit there. Smile, man. Think about it this way. The hell is that? No printers. That doesn't even look right. Oh, okay. I was like, that did not even look right, man. And that red picture, that looks looked wrong. 100% wrong, Tom. Yeah. How's it going over there, fucking powerless crypto? At least Gap yeah, didn't get flaked with power. Oh, you're like mine. Oh, LOL. It is wrong. Yeah. And cool. Yeah, it looks really wrong. Well, true, though. I nearly didn't have any working until the electric and fixed it just now. Face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. Too great. Well, there's two of them. Let's see, which one's cuter? Happy? It's taking forever to find something to print today. I'm waiting. Hey, Martin. How's it going? I'm just trying to find me something to print quick. Huh? That doesn't even sound right, D. He's not even there, and he's got birds chirping in the background. It's starting to piss me off. Funny, I think it's awesome. All good things. I'm going to see what this one is. Yeah. Oh, it's a Chirpy, chirpy face with tears of joy, la 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 Hey, poor Mike, are yep. you missing nice weather? No. Bring this out, boss, there. The funniest thing is, it doesn't bother me too bad because I don't go outside that much. So, not that I really give a crud. And a bigger one. You don't need to do that. All right, Ben. Thank you, Ben. What about? What a man. Yeah, we're going to back Yours up. Yours has that new tab off right here. Who has what? Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I want to look at that one, yeah. I didn't watch the whole thing. He started getting weird early. I wasn't in the mood for his crap. Let's see, 200%. I think I have three supports on. No, I do not. I'm going to turn on three supports. Floor? We want floor. I wonder what floor would do. Might want floor. One mil. 
repair. Indeed, that disappeared. Hello. Yeah, he did. Oh, well, with Frank, man, he got all kinds of disappeared. Hey, Hawk, you see my dragon? I did. I don't know where he's at, but I, so I got to sit here and I got competition with the birds are chirping. I keep on chirping and stealing my thunder here, man. Turned out pretty decent. Put some pictures up on uh, up on the uh, interweb up there. On, what is that called? Twitter? That's Twitter. what. The dragon I just showed you. Can't you see it? Right there? Thank you. Ben's blind, apparently. Yeah, what's up with everyone getting all weird this year? Freaking everyone is turning into a nut bag. I know it. Good morning. Oh. We're gonna just... Hey! Who's that? The baller, man? <laughs> Husband? Husband? Yeah, this one turned out all right. It was like 19 hours. I did this at 200%. I'm trying to do the cute dragon right now at like 200%. I'm not doing that scary ass bunny, I'll tell you that. Just waiting for this to do this. I get this going, man. I'll start working on my paint booth. Can't believe it's taking this long just to find something to print. Just woke up. <laughs> just woke up. Checking on my friends. Yeah. Speak for yourself, Mom. That's exactly one day at 200%. Quarter roll of film, man. What's the specs on this ugly sucker? Really like to go bigger. 146 by 170 by 145. What about 300? Just for S and G's. Oh, it's gonna be close. Yeah. I already was a nut ball, but a fun one. Please with tongue. Oh, oh well, that ain't gonna work. How about 250? Might get by with like 250. Fifty percent for the cute dragon. It was one day. Oh, we got plenty of time to think about this. It was one day at uh, two hundred percent, two hundred fifty percent. I could probably get by with two seventy five. But we'll see how this here goes. <coughs> Might have to drop my supports down a little bit because we support branch angle 40. 
That must be like the maximum angle that I will go. Totally. Well, I haven't made none for Murph. So whenever I got a free printer, I'm printing coin. There he is. Goodbye, D. <laughs> Come back and just hung up, he did. <laughs> I was going to say hi to you. Say welcome back, Carter. But he disappeared like a fart in the wind there, man. Kerplunk. I can't seem to get a decent print with the white polymaker PLA. I want printer. Why'd you jump in, Ron? Come on. Ender three. Ender three? Huh. Oh, I'm going to... We'll do. Um, golly. I don't know, man. Print's good with everything else but that. Everything but that white poly maker. Oh, come on. Oh, no, that's wrong anyway. It's this way. This is wrong. I'm on the wrong thing. This has got to be everywhere. That's why the other one was so, so easy. Come on. No, I'm going to leave that at 70 now. Um, I better go up there and look. Before I start slicing this again, I'm going to go through all my settings and make sure they're right. I'm done slicing after this. Yes, I tried Hatchbox and Matter Hacker Build. And they were fine. What, what temperature are you printing at? Try printing a temp teller, maybe. Go to three. I mean, I'm, I'm not, multiplying, I usually print right around 200. I tried 200 and 10 to 230 with five degree increments. 220 was the best. Wow, that's pretty hot. Try 200. Got to get back to work. Have a great screen. See you later. Wave your head. All right, we'll see you. Thanks for stopping by. I'd try that closer to 200. I mean, because you will get to a certain point when you get too hot that it will look like it's doing good, but it won't do really good. So I'd go lower. Try 200. All right, yeah, I want to move him just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Oh, maybe not. Will do, but I might have to retune the extruder stepper first. Why? <laughs> Why would you have to do that? Holly Mailer PLA should print by the 200. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but. Yeah, excuse me.
can't go in. Ah! Green. Polymaker even. Because it was skipping in lower temps. Okay, knock your extruder a little bit. That's interesting. Which slicer? what I use, and I think it should be fine. I'm both buying it. I'm our both printing at 200. So I don't know. I would think maybe your uh, extruder motor is uh, a little loose. You know, tighten that uh, extruder up a little bit. Because 200 should be just fine. Now you should be able to go down to just about 180. You know? What percent infill do I got? I yeah, think I have to look at that too, ain't I? I never did freaking look at that. 20%? Oh, hell no. Seven. I ain't doing no twenty percent infill on that. Thing ain't never gonna slice unless I quit messing with it. Shut some stuff down here. It says one hundred and ninety-five to two hundred and thirty on the spool. Yeah, I always say that. Good x rays with Octopi and the Raspberry Pi camera. For some reason, my camera only works if I reboot the Pi like three times. Huh. Well, when I was running my Raspberry Pi, my camera worked perfect, so I couldn't help with it. Speed camera for the Pi camera. Pi camera. Pi camera. Oh man, look at that. That's good. My mom was gonna get me freaking coffee today. Well, you guys fight amongst yourself for a second. I gotta go get rid of a little bit of coffee here. Maybe I need to receive the cable for the camera. I will test top. There you go.
I'm going to get. Standard garage road bottle we're having no discount. What I'm at. I know that's wrong. Are you sure? Sure it's not your imagination? Hey, Ron. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Ooh, Remember, everybody, I'm over here. Hours. So, not too bad. Oh, good. Three hundred boxes in the background. Did you get an order from Zyltec sent to you? What's that? I can see a whole bunch of Zyltec boxes behind your uh, TiVo. Oh yeah. Does Zyltec find out who you are and send you a whole bunch of boxes? No, no, no. Them are empty. Uh, okay. Them are ones I already printed. Right, I did just get three rolls of Zyltec just uh, the other day. Nice, nice. I had to order some just to give it a shot, you know. Even I though, like even though I'm not, uh, even though I know it's expensive for me to order it into Canada, I like to give it a shot still, nonetheless. Yeah. Order it and send it to my house, and I'll bring it down to Murph for you, and then you can try it when you get home, or you can try it at Murph. True, true. That's that is a possibility. I mean, it'd be cheaper than sending it to your place. Oh, fuck yes. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I was talking with, uh, I got to contact them again and say, hey, if they offer free shipping to Canada, how many boxes do I need to buy? <laughs> that too. I mean, otherwise it's 70, $75 or something like that for the States. Yeah, well, I know if uh, Filmist.ca, I know it's $200 Canadian dollars, they'll ship it to you free in the States, so... That's not too bad when you think about it. When you when there's other companies that don't even offer free shipping. Yeah. We're gonna try that. Eight percent infill or seven percent infill? You think that's too little? I think that may be a little little, but I think you'll be able to get away with for that. Three shells? Oh definitely then. Yeah. Ten percent infill, three top, three bottoms, uh side at two perimeters, you should be okay. I got three top, three bottom, three shell. Okay, then you're then that should be okay at that low of uh infill. Yeah. I hope it works out. All right. Well give me a card. Got a card. Oh, yeah. We are gonna print a big ass cute dragon. Need to bring up the chat. I forgot to bring it in when I got, when I logged in. There you go. Yeah, so they can make fun of me and say, Oh Canada. <laughs> oh, Canucks in town. I'm at 250% on the Kid Dragon. Oh, yeah. oh, shoot. Oh, That's not the one I wanted. Yeah, you got to turn your volume down, too, though. Yeah, no, I was trying to turn off the video, and the video and the video kind of uh, went uh, berserk on me. Yeah, I know. Just messing with you. I just went to go grab the chat room so I can say, nah, nah, at all the chatters. Yeah. And then I can listen to, then I can read before Hawk starts making tears of joy all over the page. Uh. Alright, save. That's the one thing I miss about one of the chat programs I used to use uh, versus uh, Facebook chat. If you were talking and chat was going berserk, every so often you could hit for this big face to plop up on your video with whatever you wanted it to be. And yeah. I forget who offered that. Was it? What's up, Mr. Buttram? How you doing? Yeah, it was Fire Talk. Before Fire Talk became what it is now, they used to have an emoji pop up that you could set up that, you know, if someone's talking smack and puts up an emoji, it'll just pop up on the bottom of the screen. Back yeah. in the days of Fire Talk. Oh, uh, how I miss the good old Fire Talk. Breezy as D Major. Joke had a time. Hey, Osbaugh. With my five jabs. 
Yeah, and had no luck with your bike, Cam. I, yeah, that's funny. I've never had a problem with mine, but I don't use any of it anymore. So. Yeah. Hey, Mike, sorry for being a little late. I had to put clouds in my coffee. All right, we got one day, 11 hours, 383 grams, 200, 131 by 213 by 181. That's the size of the dragon. I ain't putting no. I see the mask is still going wild. You betcha. Did I? Did you see the dragon? Oh, cool. Ah, he turned out pretty cool. You know, we'd be happy to see that. Ben. Yeah. He's already seen it. What do you say? He likes it. I did that with tree supports, you know, they printed just like that. Nice. Cool. Yeah. <gasps> Look up hearing yourself being dribbled me nuts. Yeah, I've been hearing that song, You're So Vain, it's driving me nuts. Yeah. You think this song is about you? You're so. Every 10 seconds it pops in my head, it's been driving me insane. And it works. But soon as I shut down my PC or close the app on my phone for a few hours, I have to reboot again. That's weird. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But I do think it's about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, tonight I cut some glass and I'm putting it on the Ender 3. I'm also going to print the... Um, you cut it or you had somebody cut it? No, I'm going to get no, I'm gonna get it cut. Um, I'm going to cut it myself, but I'm going to get my cousin, my uh, brother-in-law to help me out with that. Okay. Like, uh, I don't feel safe cutting glass, you know. I've had too many pieces break on me. You see my new glass cutter? I have my glass cutter, yeah. I bought it. Oh, yesterday. did you see my new one? No. I just got it at St. Penny's the other day. Let me see if I can get her up in here. There you go. Ah, cutter. Tile cutter. Yeah. Does it work better? Yeah, it's a tile cutter. It's uh. I got St. Vinny's for like four bucks. Not bad. It says you're no longer presentating. What the freaking. I was just wondering how they were going to cut, you know, so I didn't want to uh, spend a lot of money on one. Did it work? No. I haven't tried yet. You might have huh? to play the chip to do that. So, they got a free bed right there. What's going on with your Ender 3? Uh, putting a dragon on it. It was a cute dragon. Ah. I can see the that, back is open, so I wasn't too sure if you were printing a new cover for uh, it. Or... I don't have the cover yet. I just ordered the filament today for the cover, so ah, that will be here Sunday. So that that's why that's still open. I don't get around to it. I just didn't like the white one, and I don't want to paint it, so I ordered red. You know what? You can also. If you really want to get HD video off of the camera on the Pi, here's a little tip. Go back in the software. In its config under webcam, there's a way that you can configure every webcam. So that way, when you're on Octopi, you can say, I want camera, da da to show this camera angle. And what it does then is it tries to get the 16.9 aspect ratio set up in there. Because you can tell it's a camera, you can tell it the aspect ratio you want to record in, and you can tell it what, um, I believe it is also what type of P, you, what type of uh, scan you want. So if it's 1080p, if it's 720p, it's somewhere in the settings itself, but you have to go through it, um, not on the Pi, but you have to do it actually on the memory card itself to pop it out, pop it in your computer. And look for something called webcam, I think it is. Don't I and I? I gotta relook at it. But uh, someone's giving me a tip to go in there and uh, reset your camera, and usually you can get 1080p. Usually you can get 720p out of it. So I'm gonna play around mine tonight. Yeah, I'd show you the dragon that I was printing on, but I have it on my laptop that I just got from my friend on the stream. Sent me a free laptop. 
Okay. Uh, I have a laptop at Murph now. They actually sent me more than one of them. Nice. I actually got one for me, one for my daughter, and one for my wife. So what's printing on the uh, tornado then? That is a mask also. I forget what mask. No. Black <laughs> Panther? <laughs> no, no, not, not Black Panther. It's Miss Butcher, what was it? No, you remember. My mind's more on. Sending those instructions if you find them or figure that out. It's, um, God damn it. I thought I downloaded it. I mean, I thought I, uh, hang on, I got it right here somewhere. It's a three and a half day print, is what it is. <laughs> About halfway there, it should be done sometime tomorrow. Uh, My friend leaves today to go downtown Toronto uh, for some type of uh, for breakout con. <clears throat> Hang on, I gotta find it. I don't know what to do. That's Trump Tools. Well, my friend that goes into the breakout con is going to be there as a. He's uh, hosting three D&D all day and night parties, which is happening from this morning, I think, at 10. I think it started, he said it was starting at something like 10 a.m. And Where? he's going to be doing that till 10 a.m. the next morning. Oh, Breakout Con. It's a, uh, it's a board game slash geekery type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been asked to be a, um, to be one of the Dragon Mask, be one of the D&D hosts for uh 24 hours uh, game of D&D. So he's all excited about that today. Uh <laughs> Ron, that sounds cool. Yeah, I think Joe Paddock would be all into that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then when he gets back, I'm supposed to be doing uh, D and D hosting for. Oh, um, you know what would really help? What? I put Phil in. <laughs> That usually works better, Mike, when you have film in your Yeah, principle. well, I'm just sitting there doing stuff, and I might be able to get it in a little help. Well, Joe, you can come out here to break a con, or B, just show up at Gen Con. I know they do some D&D &D stuff out there every so often. And also, you'll run into Robbie Mack, and uh, I think Ben actually goes to that one, too. I know it, huh? You're being called a rookie there, Mike. <laughs> I've seen that. But it was. It really was. It's all right. I got it. But I stopped it, stopped it also. <laughs> well, I've been sitting here so worried about trying to find something to print, and then, shit. I am so lucky just to get to go to MRRF. Yeah. Welcome to Murph. Yay. <laughs> Same here, Joe. Yeah, I would tell you something kind of interesting, Mike, but I can't tell you on stream. <laughs> I, uh, I hope I get to go. Hope we don't all get sick again like last year. Hey, how's your leg feeling now? Oh, it's fine. It never really, I mean, it just hurt a little bit and it was more hot than anything. You know, okay. they're the ones in the life. Everybody made me go in. It's like, Christ, I'm fine. Just a little infection. Yeah, but we worry about you, Mike. I know. But, yeah, you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> oh, ah, we all worry about you because if you left, then we'd have no morning coffees to watch. <laughs> Somebody make fun of every morning? Do no kids and none stop running around. Betting you know how that is right. And I ain't even oh, got no printing on this. I'm putting on the bare glass here. Yeah, I know my. I, uh, I read what <clears throat> Mike put down there. I'm like, I should say Joe put down. I was like, yeah, I've heard. I know my sister has two young kids, both female, and she's nonstop running around right now because my uh, niece is getting ready for a skating competition that is happening this 
I think it's the, the, the finale show. So my sister's being run. So my sister's running around like a chicken with her head chopped off. Oh. And uh, my other niece is involved in that. So, yeah, they're going crazy right now, especially with March break, because every day she's at skating for at least, uh, what is it, eight hours a day when she's not in school. So she's over there now, now getting uh, learning the uh, learning what she needs to learn. Oh, man. This is wrong. Stop. Damn it. Why did I see that now? The Canadian maker projects I am at the ring five times a week for one to three hours. Yeah, those are all the time, too. I recognize the supports and uh, realize that's wrong. Ah. I'm trying to do tree supports, but it's freaking. Hello, El March break. Canada doesn't oh, we can, we can spring in March. Yeah, well. we've already gone through a default already. It's going to be like, what, plus five every day now for the next week? Which was kind of a shocker because they were saying on Wednesday it was supposed to snow. We're supposed to get five centimeters of snow. And now they recently changed it saying, nope, it's going to be nice and warm for the whole week. So I'm like, yay. But two days ago, they were calling for snow. <laughs> I don't know. My wife said it was like 60 some degrees out yesterday. Really nice out. Oh, it was gorgeous out last night, yesterday. I couldn't tell you. I never left the house. Uh, uh, I sat right here. The rain was a royal pain in the mat. We didn't have no rain. Oh, we got the rain. I we, um, might be right. we um we're gonna be in the fifties yeah next week forties this week. Oh, sixty sixty or Yeah, we were sitting in the high forties actually, which was really shocking. Okay. Sorry. No, we may hit the high fifties actually, no mid fifties. Yeah, I think it was mid fifties by the time uh by the time the afternoon came in. Yeah, it's going to be about, what, uh, if it's going to be 8 degrees Celsius, that's around 42? I'm doing my math right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know a way to find out. Ask, my, ask the computer in my mm -hmm. hand. Boom. Boom. Ooh, actually, it's a little bit chillier than, I, than they said it was going to be. Uh, let's see. Celsius, Fahrenheit. <laughs> I can totally tell that was the wrong supports on there. So it's 41, but it's feeling like 32. So that's what the wind chill involves. So it's actually plus five, but it's going to feel like zero out there. So, eh, whatever. I can't believe it. I'm figure out. But yesterday it was just so freaking humid too. That's the other problem. So <clears throat> did you guys see that storm clouds that moved through the states? How it was almost like a swirling um Yeah, they were having tornadoes and shit all over the place. Yeah, with that storm that came out of the uh yeah, it was weird. Because I'm watching it here, I'm going, that's a storm that's heading our way, you know? <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, that storm was moving up, it was moving up towards us. But it was really interesting, if you looked at the whole storm through the North American um, satellites, it was like you had a swirling vortex in the center going swirling up towards our neck. West of where I live. Almost like a hurricane, almost, in a sense. Well, the formed eye, it was weird. It was asterisk. Uh, I got a black 
have enough film and I'd like to do a direct Deadpool too. Did it cause any damage where you were, Joe, or were you just far enough that you weren't affected by it? Who's that? Me? I haven't looked at the maps yet. I gotta look at the uh, storm maps tonight. But on the back end, there was supposed to be the polar vortex, but they said because of the way the jet stream is going right now, it is pulling all that heat from uh, the uh, coastline, and it's causing a weird effect. They think that the storm is going to pull us more heat because it's going up and around. So Ontario is kind of weird the way it's formed. But that curvature is going up like this into the high end, into the high end northern Ontario. I'm in the southern bottom of Ontario, and the storm is going around the area and going this way. So it's going up over into the Hudson, into, over towards Hudson Bay. So if you look at a map, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And the storm is supposed to go over that and then go across Atlantic Canada. Now, if it does that. We might get the whole shoot load of hot, humid, warm air because it's pulling like the whole Gulf of Mexico's uh, heat source and pulling it over. So we could be experiencing five days of this beautiful, nice, warm weather. Let the defaw begin. Uh, that means you too, Mikey. You get my feel some more warm air up there too now for the next couple of days. Oh, it was nice yesterday. It's gonna be cold or not cold, but colder for the next few days. Yeah, it's it's not gonna be freezing anymore. Thank God. Yeah. In a lot of ways, what we makes it right now? We have the right settings. Are you oh. driving through Detroit for MRRM? Well, uh, you know it, Joe. That's what I do every year. If so, what day are you going? Uh, we leave on Thursday, and we should be uh, in uh, Goshen, Indiana by the... If we leave on the Friday... If we leave on Thursday, we should be in the States by Friday... By Thursday afternoon... We're stopping in Ann Arbor, and then we're going all the way out to. Um, then we'll be going to Murph uh, from there. It's a Doctor Doom mask. Ah, Doctor Doom. There it goes. Smash that thumbs up, you guys. We only got one and one right now. You gotta be kidding me, Joe. Wow. Talk about a small world. <laughs> I didn't know you were in uh, Michigan. I thought you were more Michigan closer to... Um, I thought you were uh, down south, I thought. Huh. That's a good stick. So, Joe, are you going to Murph or no, not this year? Or are you going, um... It's gone. No, but I mean, around what time was he looking at going? Got a brother who lives down there. Well, oh, there's Joe. Hey, bud. There he is. That's Joe. Yeah. Hang on, just wait. I'm going to look at Joe here quick. I got another hour before my next meeting, so I figured I'd pop in. Wow. No, Ron, I'm I'm uh so you're probably gonna be coming along ninety four. I'm about Oh yeah, you're gonna be there Friday, Saturday. Yeah, I'm gonna be there Friday, Friday Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm I'm debating on whether I'm gonna go I'm gonna go down on Thursday night or Friday morning. Okay. So well. I mean, if you're near Ann Arbor and you got time, maybe we should try a meetup or something like that. Yeah, that was kind of why I was bringing it up. Are you staying the night in Ann Arbor or what? Yeah, we're going to stay the night in Ann Arbor because my, my friend, the friend that's driving, he has um, a case of sleep apnea. Hey, so Chris, how you doing? He can't drive for long periods of time or else he gets really exhausted and then 
it becomes dangerous to drive. No, I know how that goes. That's why I'm debating on whether they're going Thursday morning or, <laughs> or Thursday night or Friday morning. My daughter's got ice skating right, like quick. Five o'clock on Thursday. You don't link. Uh, she uh, so she does uh, figure skiing too. Yep. Yeah. Matter of fact, you'll be yeah, we're doing you'll, merch. You'll be driving too. just past the um, her ice rink about two miles past her ice rink as you go down ninety four. Hey, Chris. Yeah, we're all talking Murph again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know what? If you're going to be stopping in Ann Arbor for Thursday, I'll go Friday morning and I'll catch up with you Thursday evening. There you go, yeah. Chris. I'll have to talk to my uh, driver. And, and... Yeah, I could swing out there. Like I said, it's only 20 minutes away. Maybe 25 minutes, depending on traffic. Yeah, I was going to drive down, but unfortunately, my driver's license isn't 100% done yet, so... Only because I live in a city where actually transit somewhat works. When I was living in Toronto, I moved out here five years ago. And because my job was like only one bus ride away, I've never really considered getting my driver's license. But lately, the transit out here has been getting worse and worse. So it's time now to start thinking about getting the, the driver's license now. Are You said you're over in Mississauga? I used to live in Mississauga. Yeah. Then I was, uh, but I was on the border of Mississauga and Toronto. So it was like, I hop a bus in 10 minutes. I was at the subway and that was like, boom, boom, boom. You know? Right. Yeah. That's, you know, cause it's only four hours from here to, uh, from, from here to Mississauga or Toronto. Yeah. Well, I moved from Mississauga over to, to here, which is uh, Kitchener Waterloo area. And uh, the KW area, the transit is a joke. Well, that's not good. Yeah. Well, it's a small city. It was never meant to be a big city, yet they want, yet they have the big city mentality. So <laughs> they never really implemented the transit properly. Hey, living living the area where I'm at, there's no such thing as transit. <laughs> <laughs> you drive you have a car, you don't go anywhere. I've learned that in living in the States for about a couple of weeks, you know, that there are certain areas in the States where you just can't live unless you drive. Right. There's a, there's a lot of areas like that. There's It's much fewer areas that uh, have the mass transits like Chicago, New York, L.A., you know, a lot of the bigger big cities. Detroit is one of the few big cities that doesn't have a, a very good mass transit system. That's what I've been told. Well, I mean, come on. Motor City. Why would yeah. you have mass transit? Yeah, I'm not really happy with with the GM right with the people at GM right now. Yeah, no, a lot of people aren't happy with all of the big three. <laughs> <laughs> well, GM is the kind of the worst because they're moving. Uh, because of, from what I've heard and talking to my friends that work in the union, they're like, "Yep, they're moving almost all their. Uh, they're moving for their plants." To Mexico, yep. So now Mexico is going to be building ninety percent of, well, actually all one hundred percent of the cars now. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty typical. Where yeah. Ford's doing the opposite and they're pulling a lot of theirs back out of Mexico. Yeah, yeah they're. Uh, they said they're building another. Uh, they're adding a couple more lines to uh, the one out here in Oakville. I heard they're adding, and I heard they're talking about maybe building another plant in Canada. So that was kind well, of shocking. You have, well, you have you have Oakville, but you also have uh, there's what two plants that are that used to be really close to each other over there in Oakville. There's one in Oakville, and there's one in uh, Brampton, which was shut down and was turned to an office only now. And then there's one down in London, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Well, I in the '90s I worked for a, a, a tooling company. And we supplied uh, the the um, the assembly tool. The you know, like you ever see you like where they pick up the instrument panels, you know, the those big machines. That that's what we did. Um, and I pretty much visited every Ford plant in North America. Oh wow! Between between Canada, United States, and Mexico, I had been in every one of them numerous times from like ninety four to two thousand. Ah, if I knew you earlier, I would tell you, in Oakville, there's a special little restaurant called Stoney's Bread Company. I've been there. 
How did you like their food? Oh, it was delicious. That's <laughs> the one beautiful thing about being doing all that traveling. You got to go to some really, really nice uh, restaurants. Yeah, I when I moved to Oakville, though, it was about four yeah. years ago, six. No. Yeah. Year five. So yeah, I guess it's about six years ago. I lived a year in Oakville. Um, only because my job was close by to Oakville. So I said, ah, why not move to Oakville? Oakville is a little bit more expensive. There, but, yes. but oh my god. Your area. Yeah. Met a friend. He took me to he told me there's a little secret restaurant in Oakville that only Oakville's know, and it's called Stoney's. Go there. Great cafe, great food. It's like yeah. you'll never leave empty. You'll never leave not feeling stuffed. Well, oh. you know, Pro and that's cool thing about working with the engineers and stuff like that there they would you know they would just oh hey come on you got to go here you got to go there you know type thing so that was that was really cool thing yeah so yeah um definitely have to uh let me know yeah definitely i should uh, know probably tomorrow actually because well i don't know if he's gonna be on tonight because he says he's leaving at uh so my friend has to drive from Hamilton to Toronto, and that's a that's a fun and a half ball game. Um, he's saying he's driving down because he has some games that he wants to sell at uh, Breakout, but he's also uh, going to be down down to Toronto. So he has, well, as you know, Hamilton and the QEW is always a fun drive. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> I know. God, four lanes of hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still three lanes actually to Toronto and back, but yeah, they need to add in a four. They need to add a fourth lane to the QEW. Yeah. Well, just be happy he's not driving on the four hundred one or otherwise known as the highway of hell. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello. How's it going? Sorry, Mikey. Oh, all right. Here we go, dude. So what are you printing now, Mike? Um, Maker Climbs, the uh, Doctor Doom mask, and the uh, cute dragon. Well, Oswald, Oswald, the main thing about Murph is dragons at two hundred and fifty percent. Talking to everyone, it, it's kind of like a family reunion just for three D printers. Yeah, and then <laughs> also the drinking that goes on. Oh man, the drinking. <laughs> Ryan, yeah, Ryan. I was, I thought I read something about like three o'clock in the afternoon. They can start three or four o'clock in the afternoon. You can start setting up. Huh? On Friday. My email says we'll be there at five. You can start setting up anytime. Okay, five o'clock on Friday. A.M. Yeah, they open the oh. doors to the public at five p.m. Is what I was reading, but I think they're allowing well, us an hour or two. I told them about in. my disability and all about like. It. What time can I get there so I can get, you know, it's halfway close so I don't have to walk so far? And he's, I forgot exactly what he said. Yeah. Well, Sunday, it goes until what, uh, four or five o'clock on Sunday, too, right? Yeah, we're there until five. Yeah, definitely the best day. One yeah. day. Saturday seen. is probably the most craziest day to come down because it is packed, but it's a lot of fun. I'm just going to hide behind the table. <laughs> okay. Want to see the email? Yeah, but Friday it's open too. And uh, usually Friday, everybody's usually there around 5 o'clock and they open up the doors. I was hearing this time around. But I was hearing that if anybody shows up, I think it's like 3 o'clock. We can start showing up and start unloading. Exactly. I mean, so. yeah, it's nice here. Hey, Derek, how's it going, man? Yeah, he said, come on in, Derek. Yeah, the water's fine. Yeah. Give me one second on that, Mr. Buttram. So, Buttram, the website says 5 p.m. Friday, but... Uh, where the hell did I do with that now, man? I don't know, man. I'll have to look. Tables. No, Friday is not just for participants. That's Earth, <laughs> not Murph. I was there on uh, Friday. I was not a participant. I was not a participant, but they allowed us, and uh, we showed up around uh, three something, and 
I heard people asking for help, so I was there helping out people and, you know, calling and stuff. And they're like, we're like, oh, you want to help them out? Go right ahead. <laughs> yeah. Volunteered a little bit of help for a few people, bringing in some gear. Rocky and I were talking about getting here Friday at 4 or 5. Right yeah, I'm to, remember. yeah, I think five is when they start letting the public in, but if you are have a table, you're allowed it earlier or something like that. I was hearing I'm not 100 percent sure what's going on, but they said they're gonna make an announcement soon about that. Because I emailed them about that. I said, So are we allowed in earlier the ones that have exhibits? And they're like, Oh, we'll have to get back to you on that one. I thought I moved on it. Yeah. But maybe I didn't hang on. Ooh, that's a scary look. No, wow. What yeah, the hell are you scary. doing, Derek? Oh, you're paying your cat. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> well, at least the cat's the right color for the mask. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good, Derek. We can't hear you, Derek. March Very smooth lines. That looks good. Well, yeah, that's when it's open to the public. Oh, my. About, um, took about three days. And now we can hear him. Friday. A lot of detail in that mask, man. And now you just gotta spray it black, right? Yep. Or sand it first, then spray paint it. Or the dummy eyes, so the silver eyes. Okay, that's not it. And then I'm just printing the back part now. And then I'm gonna put some magnets in it. Then I can put it on, put the magnets on. You always be there and it be done. So that can be your new look for the uh, whenever you log in? <laughs> nah. Nah. Yeah. I just can't find you. You know, I just finally watched Black Panther a couple days ago. <laughs> Wasn't able to get out to theaters to watch it. Actually, it's not a bad movie. That's probably one of the best Marvel ones I've seen so far. Yeah, I'm not going Story to see... Lines. For me, it, it was about the story that they sticking closer to typical storylines. Yeah. Or, you know, a lot of these other movies that just been blowing the storyline out the door, you know. Yeah, I remember when Captain Marvel uh, Civil War came out, I was like, oh, they screwed it up so badly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, I swear I went through and I made a folder for this crap. Silver oh, War could have been two movies, and that would have been perfect. Yeah. Because the Civil War storyline altogether is that it was humans versus the mutations versus they should give out their, they should be registered as things. And Spider Man was involved in it. He was one of the main preachers with um, Tony Stark about, you know, superheroes should be registered. Then the mutants were all against it because then it took on the mutant, the mutant aspect of mutants being tortured and oh, it was an interesting storyline. But in the comics, yeah, I mean, but there, yeah, there, there's so much more in the comics with you know with uh, with abuse, um, <laughs> like segregation and everything else like that in there uh, in the comics. You know, they they really did. Uh, a huge, um, you know, a, a huge thing on that. That was, that was massive. I mean, the whole, you know, mutant registration and all that other kind of stuff, and because uh, that tied in with, uh, you know, with the accords and all, and all that other kind of stuff. So, it, yeah, they had some, they, the storylines on that. If they were to be able to do some of those storylines within the movies, it would just be amazing. Yeah, and so does uh, Derek. Does agree with us? Yeah, I was wrong. 
I was drunk, but it's not that late. Um, as long as you're there by three, you have plenty of time. Yeah. Well, I know that they're going to, you know, if you're there early and you can help out, I know they were saying something about, you know, they could use this <laughs> to help and, you know, getting stuff yeah. set up, tables, that type of stuff. Well, I just, no, this came right from uh, John. Oh, okay. Because I emailed them about what time and stuff I could get there. I thought it was earlier than that. Maybe I just put that in my head because that's what I told my wife. Which will make her get there around two or three. That could be it. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, Dirk? All good, mate. All good. I've just been asked to go in and do some overtime. Oh, no. <laughs> overtime? Yeah. Well, let you buy more filament. <laughs> well, I mean, my overtime is quite good. It works out to be roughly 15 to 20 pound an hour. Well, that's not too bad. So I'll be going in for five hours. So I'm not, I'm not complaining. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You're talking to us about it. <laughs> no, I thought I'd quickly jump on before I get going. I just yeah. thought I'd uh, show you bits and pieces, but... Now that I'm fairly comfortable in doing masks and stuff on the CR10S, I've got, um, I'm going to be doing a few more masks now. Yeah, I'm pressing a Dr. Doom mask right now. You know, for work, you should just go in as Iron Man, with the <laughs> Iron Man mask on. <laughs> and they ask, why is the mask on? You just say... Listen, you don't want to see the bags under my eyes. No, I'll, I'll be like, I'm Iron Man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm they need the Batman mask. mask. <laughs> I'm, Iron Man. I'm Iron Man on my days off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got two people that are asking me to do surveys about 3D printing. Oh, boy. Surveys. Yeah, they're following me. They're both market research analysts. Do it. They put out a tweet. One guy put out, um, 3D printers are now widely used in Western countries at individuals and industry level. We we took a little research on our current trending <coughs> on current trending 3D printers and got some amazing results. Some of the best desktop printing models are, and then they give you a link. But here's the picture they use. Someone please tell me that has nothing to do with 3D printing. <laughs> what has nothing to do with 3D printing? That picture I'm holding up that they used for their bit that they used. That looks like someone in front of a normal printer. Yep. Not a 3D printer. Nope. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, a little right. there you go. Yeah, the, yep, yeah, regular printer. Exactly, it's a standard office printer. Yeah, that's why I'm I'm scared to read this Bitly account. Uh, oh, the other benefit for me going mm -hmm. into overtime today. Global oh. Market Research is the name of the company that that did the research, but there's nothing here. Ah, here we go. Yeah, Derek. The boss has actually said that I can order anything I want and he'll pay for it. Food wise, oh. really? Yeah. You're a new printer, huh? <laughs> no, food, <laughs> food wise, I can't eat the printer. <laughs> you can make the printer make your food, pizza. Well, yeah, could do. Yeah. Then yeah. after you know it's done doing the pizza, then you can print some stuff yeah, for the work. You know, pizza printer or chocolate printer. Yeah. Pancake printer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at this way you can also set it up in such a way that you know design prototype winds uploads a video without any whining what he uploaded a video yeah, he had been he, gone, like for two weeks yeah he, i think he done one yesterday uh, uh, without whining that's a first i don't think i follow him anymore i've stopped following him after his last uh blow up i just said i'm done with him Llama was that the filament sensor that 
Imagine that. All right, now I just gotta. Uh, I don't want to f up my stuff here, but. Hello, I'll have Mr. Oh, the auto next thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure it was a new video? It was one of his older videos before he started becoming a whiner. <laughs> and I hate to tell him this, but you know, people were doing filament runout sensors way before he started designing his. <laughs> All right. No, it's you. Uploaded today. Was he designing something, or did he finally, or is he just, you know, saying he's designed it so that he can wind up Prusa again next next week? Um, probably at people, I would have to say go with um, Zotech. I know there's a code we have with Zotech. Is that right, Mike? Hey, what's the least expensive DLA right now? Least expensive DLA print. Oh, small paycheck this week. Uh, thirty-three dollars. If nothing else, he is entertaining. Facebook code. On uh. Ebay takes you a while to get it, but uh, you get three rolls for 32 bucks. Hey, Mike, whenever I look at those rolls, those rolls say they're for um, a pen. I'm just that's what I printed this dragon with that silver. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong one then. Yeah, uh, let me grab it. Give me a second. Yeah, it's about twenty pound a roll in in the UK. If you wanted to pop, if, if you wanted some filament, especially for yellow. Otherwise, you weed whacker. Weed whacker filament. Oh, good lord! <laughs> can we use weed whacker filament? <laughs> oh, we can. Oh, a little green here that is one point seven five diameter for weed whacker. Oh, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you want to kill yourself after. Yeah, but it kills kills you quicker as well. Oh, okay. Well, you just slow me down, man. My hands are looking like that. Filling up some PET drawing. Yeah, you know what? It does say that. It does say that, but it doesn't matter. I don't yeah, care. I've used uh, 3D. I've used 3D pen filament on 3D printers with no problems. Well, I, I thought there was two different uh, temperatures. Oh, it's uh, not. It's just something they put in there. Stuff, yeah. yeah. You can get some the, the small rolls from uh, them. Well, I know the one that I got from uh, the pen I got from. Uh, That's a low temp pen. Yeah. Yeah, no. I have four pens. One, two of them are low temp. Yeah, we got from uh, Fernando. Yeah, and I've got one that will print it up to ABS, and then the other one's just PLA. Okay, I guess maybe I gotta get a different yeah, pen. That link there, that's to the, the, the guy, and it's I you I order it. It just takes comes from California, takes like a week to get here. I don't care. I don't always need filament that, that day. Yeah, for me, it's more about oh, and he's got the gray now. He's got gray and silver. The silver, this is that silver, man. It is freaking beautiful. Got a little sheen to her. Well, for a while there, he did. He was out of stock on most of these colors. Yeah, I know. I know. He just stocked back up. Because I was looking, I wanted to try that gray. Yeah. The only okay. problem with ordering from this guy, you can either order oh, one roll. Phone if you if you order one roll, it's a little bit more expensive, like thirteen dollars a roll. No, I, people, look Wiley. at uh, Wiley's post. He just posted a link to where he buys his filament from. Yeah, from eBay. Yeah, it's eBay link. Yeah. What are you looking at? 
cheaper if you want to get a lot of rolls, you can get it from. You yeah, I think Derek's trying to say something to us. From uh, Loudon, oh, okay. <laughs> with the coupon code. And all good. It's, I'm, I, you know, and that's the thing is, is I want to try the uh, the the, the Zeltec, and then if it's if it's good enough, I just I'm just gonna buy ten rolls at a time yeah. from there. Well, just order a roll. That only that only that takes like three days to get from Zyltec. Yeah, I'll probably order two rolls. I'm gonna try both the Uncle Jesse and the Gray and see which yeah. one. The Uncle Je the only problem with the Uncle Jesse is they're out of stock a lot of times. You know, so it seems like Gray goes out of stock on a lot of things or on almost all of them. It's like the Gray. There's. Gun metal gray, and then there's gray. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, well, it's definitely good stuff. I all, I like this cheap filament, too, from eBay, but it just takes too long. Usually, And the only reason why I say it takes too long is because I'm always out of filament because I can't get far enough ahead on filament, you know? So, so it takes too long for me. So yeah. when I think of gray, ooh, you know what I mean? The one's silver, the other one's gray. Yeah. When I think of gray, I think of this as gray. The, to me, this is gray. Yeah. Yep. You know, and then this, this is this, is, this one's a silver. Yeah. I'll have all these, uh, um, all my 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 dungeon tiles there. I'm gonna break them. Set it all up. See, is a dark silver. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the two here. Uncle Jesse, it ain't quite as dark as what uh, you got there compared to this stuff that I have. I'm trying to find the other one. I Darker, have. definitely. <laughs> definitely dark. You want to do the magic marker now? Nice dragon here. Vertigo gray. Nice dragon. Oh yeah, you can see the silver flakes in that. That's cool. <coughs> well, his video just went dead. I think we just lost him. From Zyltech. Oh, he's back again. No, he's not. Um, there's a coupon code that comes up down in my description for Zyltech. You get 15% off. So, yeah, so here's, here's, <laughs> this is what I get a kick out of. So, they call this gray, they call the one in the middle here gray, and then this one is silver. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's like, can you guys not distinguish colors properly? <laughs> Yeah, you can tell like the one at the end is gray for sure, but it's yeah. a little bit lighter than the first one. Yeah, this is this is like a this to me is this is gray. This is like a light gray, or it's almost a silvery. This one's sil. This one is a silver. But that looks so gray. I know, but if you really look, oh yeah, I guess I can see a little bit of shimmer on that. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the shimmer on it where that's it's got that shine to it. So it's 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 hard for me if I can find dark grays like this I buy them like crazy and this is 3D hero. Ask um I think my gray prints that good. Let me see if I got gray print. Give me a moment. But uh that's why I'm I'm hoping that the uh the Ziltec is that darker gray. Cuz if it is Oh my gosh, man! I'm, I'll be in, I'll be in heaven if that's the case. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, my. Careful, I guess. 
I hate when people call and then they don't even pick up. And I just have oh no, two left. Can I get two cards just to check it, right? I went through my swatch pile, which is basically like little bits I printed that are going in the garbage can. But all it stores is old filament. But that's the gray I got right there. Is that gray close to what you're looking for? Yeah, that's a good gray. This is from uh, the filaments.ca's maker brand. Not their maker brand, but their regular uh, Ego Tough gray. Yeah. Same color. It's like 15 bucks a roll. That's uh, it's about what the, um, the Ziltec is. Yeah, but you got to remember that's fifteen dollars Canadian. Ah, okay. On their website. So yeah, with the American dollar, into the US? Uh, shipping is seventeen dollars Canadian. But if you buy up to two hundred dollars worth, they will ship it for you for free. Okay. Or then you can just ask me to buy you wool and pay me when <laughs> at Ann Arbor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got. I'm stocked up right now for a little while. Um, okay. That's why I want to. I want to try that Ziltec, and then if that Ziltec is, if it's the gray I'm looking for, or even the Uncle Jesse silver, and then I, you know, using their discount codes, and I can get it down to close to like eleven seventy seven a roll with shipping. Nice. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm right back. Just one second. Okay. Keep talking about what? I thought you left you. You thought you left us, Derek. You took off. All of a sudden, your video just froze and you were gone. Thought maybe you went to work. <laughs> Hello. Yep. Yep. Okay. What another printer? All right. What's this one? You know what I miss. No. That's the strap. Don't take the Artemis. That's the strap. That's the other one. Proof the Mark III. That's already built. And you're happy to... We'll mute him just to be on the safe side. Oh, yeah. Well, that was the one I just got. Hey, don't hang up. This is relief for chronic pain. I don't got chronic pain. Go away. I know it, huh? I, don't I got chronic pain. Well, here, Derek, we muted you because number. you had a call, so I didn't want any information to get out there for you. More information. It's only just free printers. Oh, you're getting another free printer? No, I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't got, I ain't got room. <laughs> sure, you do. on my head. Dude, yeah. that's what shelves are for. Yeah, I was going to say, just a shelf over the top of the ender. You could put a shelf there. They're taken. I've got two printers up there already, two printers down here, two printers there, one print here. I've got about that much room to work with. Just That's put perfect. Another one over the top of the ender. <laughs> Just another one over the top of the ender. I've yeah. got nothing above the ender. There's no shelves. So I've got my filament up there. <laughs> they can go on the floor underneath your desk. No, yeah. I've got a standard printer under there. <laughs> well, you get rid of that. I've got a standard printer under there. I've got my drinks cabinet under here. You'd be like Mr. Butcherman and just send it to Don. No, I'm not going to send anything to Don. Well, Mr. Hey, Butcherman. could be nice and send it to me. <laughs> I'll be the Don for the game printer. Just alone, the shipping would cost me another printer. Yeah. True. True. <laughs> Mr. Butcherman loves Don. Where is it's it? always room for a free printer. Yeah, I always have room for a free printer, too, so don't forget about me. Oh. Well... Oh, oh, oh. As from as from next week, I will have a new printer here, and I'll show you it. It'll still be in the box. <laughs> oh, jeez. No room. Maybe you should start selling some of your Da Vinci's under the, your desk. No, they they are my 
very first. I can't get rid of him. I know the feeling. I got it. I got right over here. I got in pieces my X1, which is my first printer I bought, $129. And I just can't give up the go to let it go bye bye. But, uh, right. yeah. Oh, I'm Derek, well, there's an idea, Derek. You could put a, a shelf right over the top of your door and then just put, you know, a printer up there. Uh, uh, no, not, not tall enough. Not tall? Well, you could put your Da Vinci's there. No, let, let me just measure it. I'll show you. One sec. Above my door, yeah? Could you yeah. Over, over the for your Da Vinci's? It's about 14 inches. What about on the side of your door? The Da de Vinci's are 21. Ah. Uh, so why not pass the door jam? I can't. I won't have enough room sideways to go by the door. Okay. And obviously I can't put one behind the door. So I won't be able to get in. <laughs> what about one on the other why side Why do you need to get in the room? <laughs> <laughs> I've got shelving unit. I mean, look at, go and have a look at my Makerspace video. You'll see... You'll see, I've got no more space that I could put another printer. I've got a Delta right in the corner. Luckily, it's a Delta. It's right in the corner. It's not taking any space, so it's taking that corner out. I've got a little bit of room here, which is exactly... Okay, so about 16 by 16, just so I can do some work and prep and stuff. That's it. And then I know I'm on the top of your camera. On top of my camera, I've got my window. The window for the office is right behind this one. Oh, no, that's the, the problem. Window. Put the board in front of the window and make more shelves in front of the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just having fun with you, man. You know that. It's fine. It's fine. I've just got no room. That's it. Oh no. Oh no. Hawk's back. Um, May Hawk can help you out there. May Hawk can uh, host a couple of your printers. The thing is, I yeah, offered he's got room. Never, never come back to me. I offered Hawk. <laughs> a nice, cheap Ender 3, and he he was just like, no, he hasn't come back to me at all. He hasn't messaged me. He hasn't taken me up on the message. So. I just said, you southern blocks. <laughs> blokes. 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 Southern blokes. I can't do it. I can't do a British accent. My I can't do British if it saved my life. I don't use Twitter. I'm trying not to use Twitter. Oh. Irish, on the other hand, I can throw out a good Irish when I need it. I'm horrible at accents. My brother is really good at them. Hey, Ron, I bet you can throw out a good Canadian accent. <laughs> <laughs> No, the reason I said Irish accent I can throw out every so often is because my uh, grandfather was uh, born in Ireland, so he has that. His family has that Irish, uh, Irish accent, which sometimes I'll be talking to my friends, and all of a sudden they go, "Why are you sounding so Irish?" It's like, "Don't ask. You don't want." To. And I explain to them, "My last name on my mom's side is Murphy. Do the math." <laughs> And then they'll start speaking Irish, and I'll be like, yeah, I understand exactly what you're saying. <laughs> it really shocks a lot of my Irish friends. Like, I'll be listening there, and I'll be like, yeah, da, da, da. And, I'll, and I'll throw out a couple of Irish words, and they're just like, you're not Irish. Like I said, my grandfather's side is Irish. <laughs> home side is Irish. Oh, yeah, 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 we forgot. <laughs> you're telling them you're almost Irish. I'll just have my wife come down and do a Russian accent. <laughs> I can't even do Irish. I can't even do Russian. I can't even do an English accent. <laughs> Ukrainian's a little bit weird. If you want to hear me do Japanese, that's fun. Uh, here we go again. Oh, here. Here. I did Japanese. Uh, I'd be offensive. So do I. No. Because I would do it wrong. I <laughs> don't know. No, like, I'll even get into full Japanese. It's, it's funny. Because when I'm talking to females, They'll hear me uh, talk in Japanese, and then when they hear me speak English, they're just like, <gasps> and they're just like, I'm like, what? They're like, you sound so happy and cheerful in English, but 
so male in Japanese. I'm like, yeah, why? But like, it's so weird hearing you do that. I'm like, I'm probably even being Canadian. I mean, that's how we sound. That's <laughs> because I'm a bloody Canadian, man. Yep. Because you Canadians are soft spoken. You guys are too. We are. We are soft spoken. We're loud, but we're soft spoken. Why do you have to do the serious face when you do Japanese accent wrong? <laughs> it's called being living there, man. It's just, you guys are nice, yeah. eh? <laughs> yeah, eh? Oh, freaking shut up, y'all, you hoes. Eh? <laughs> yeah, oh, losers. <laughs> oh, I really forgot about you, Mike. <laughs> uh -oh, Look at Derek with that. I think Derek should do all his shows with that mask on. You know what, Derek? It, it's so weird with when you have that on. It, it just doesn't. It looks like a hockey mask. It you can't even tell that it's until you get that painted that it's the black uh, the Black Panther mask. Yep. You know what? He should actually sculpt himself a mask from uh, the freaking new game, uh, because when I first saw it. I was thinking Far Cry New Dawn because there's a character in there that wears a husky, that's wearing a husky mask as he hunts with a bow and arrow. Ah. <laughs> Take off your hosers. Your hosers. Yep. <laughs> your hosers. <laughs> I think there's something in the coffee today. <laughs> There must be yeah, clouds in the coffee, coffee man. Overtime. We've all gone vain. Well, look at it this way, Hawk. It's the weekend for us, you know? So we're all a little giddy. No, well, almost the weekend. Yeah. I bet at 5 o'clock you'll be going yabba dabba doo to get out of there and running out of there, eh, Mike? I slept good last night. I got up at 2. Oh, you're up at 2 in the morning? At 30, 11 o'clock. I slept until 2 last night. Oh, Ron, oh, that's you great. Didn't sleep, man. An awesome night's sleep for me. He barely sleeps, Ron. I know. Trust me, I know the feeling. Um, when I used to work nights for a company, I it really wrecked up my sleep for a couple of years. I couldn't fall asleep. Uh, I would only sleep maybe four hours a day. Right now, I am gladly happy to say this year's insomnia is not as bad as with this time change. It's not as bad this time around. You're going to get rid of that. What? Time change. Yes, I agree. 100%. Well, I just get to this now because I was wondering what I was going to print next. I want to help somebody else figure out what they're going to print next. I mean, oh, both this my time, are running. This year, time change has not been so bad, but last year, oh, God, it was horrible. I wake up and it would still be like 4 o'clock in the morning and I'd be wide-eyed bushy-tail again. And then other nights I would not sleep at all. I'd just be wide awake, staring at the wall. It was horrible. Where are you building, Mike, may I ask? What's the problem? We <laughs> asked, what are you building? You read the description? Yes. Explains a lot, trust me. Run, run, run. Do you have Xbox One? No, 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 no. I do not have an Xbox Xbox One. He's, uh, Mike is building a spray booth. Okay, I thought for a second there he was building an enclosure for one of his printers. No, he wants to do a spray booth, which is fair play to him, actually. Yeah. I need to do that. <laughs> Hawk, 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 hawk. Why, 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 why do, 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 you, 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 ah, 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 ask. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Hawk, this one's for you, man. Ugh. Pulling this thingy out. Yes. There you go. Well, Xbox One. Of course, this is the Xbox 360. Oh. The, the what? I already play Apex Legends. Hawk, you need to talk to uh, uh, Ben, Craig. He's the one that plays all the games. No, I play games too. But what did you fart? <laughs> uh, I'm, living a, I'm living an Xbox that's all tied up on my computer, on my desk. So, yeah. It's a little hard to lift. I've got an older Xbox I need to fix. Which one? The original or the... Uh... The original. PC or PS4 I'm more of a PlayStation guy. PS4 and PC. I'm more of a PlayStation guy. Yeah. I don't PlayStations. PC, Xbox. Yeah, that will work. Dreamcast. Yeah, it just can't see it. Yeah, well, I got all. The, I got like some of this. I got like almost every which one system. And then my that's all open and just velcro on. That way it can come off and fold down. The most expensive system I own. What's that? Uh, What's the most expensive system you own? <coughs> Neo Geo AES. What the heck is that? This is an arcade machine. Neo Geo cartridges. Let me just show you how it's been. How much, how I was going to say, the cartridges have got to be huge for that thing. Oh, they are huge. Um, they don't look What's big. that, Derek? Pepsi Max. Cherry Pepsi Max. Huh, I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Best drink in the world. Uh, the good part about this mask that I'm drinking right now is I can't oh. see none of it. I don't know how it looks. Okay. I'll up you one better, Derek. Agua. <laughs> Here's the Genesis cartridge, guys. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just to take it in mind. So let me pull out an SNK cartridge. Oh, this thing's it's just from uh, the, the slot. The thing looked like it was massive. Oh shit! I I bigger than I thought. PS4 gives you an idea how big the cartridges are. Why? They're arcade boards. Let me see how big it is. So there you so go, Mike. Arcade board. A little bit bigger. Come on. You have two PCB boards in there. Oh god. One controls the security. The other one actually controls the gameplay. Oh jeez. And the audio, it's 24 bits when 32-bit was a thing. And uh, now I only have one game because each of these cartridges are about 300 bucks a shot. Well, yeah, but I'm guessing it's it's 20 years old or yeah. more. Yeah, well, let's put it this way, okay? When they first started selling them, they were 100 bucks. When uh, Super Nintendo came out, they were 50 bucks. So that was in the mid-90s. Yeah. Wow. I got one of them. Now their cartridges are about um two, three, four hundred dollars, depending on which game you go for. I don't watch guys play that Grand Theft Auto and they ain't playing it normal. They're playing it as teams and you gotta chase one person down and kill them within twenty four hours. Like ten That's people chase online them version. Static. So like ten of us get together or eleven, ten people chase one guy and try to find him in the city. <laughs> And hunt them down and kill them. Can't shoot from the car and stuff like that. It's pretty. I mean, it's pretty interesting. I can sit here and watch it quite a bit actually lately. Think it, that almost be fun. You know what? I have no talent for playing video games. Neither do I. Especially first-person shooters. Nope. I'm god awful at first-person shooters. That's why no, I think are not that. Not be too bad, you know. You got to shoot eventually, but. That's just Hawk. Hail Mary in it. Poor Hawk, 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 Hawk. Oh, if you Hawk. have a PS4, I'll play you on PS4. I, I have PS4. Have a, I don't have a game for the Xbox One. I have 
I have PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4. I got the Wii and the PS. Or, uh, I got the Wii too. One. Yeah, I got Wii in the house. Wii, yeah, Wii. 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 I, have a I always wanted to get the Wii U because I heard the Wii U was just better. No, I mean, toy of way, toy of nobody ever plays it. If you got a USB headset, Hawk, you got a. It'll work on the PS4. Bluetooth What's that you're holding in your hand? Bluetooth headset, for that matter. See, I don't never play, I've never even played one of them. Derek, what are you holding? It's a PS Vita. Oh, oh Vita. Vita. Oh, my God. My nephew still got his PSP. I'd still do, too. I'm actually I, thinking of modding my PSP I so I can turn it into a, uh, yeah. a modded system so I can play everything. Yeah, oh, I did with mine. Oh, let me know how that works out, Ron, so I can let my no nephew know how to do that. Uh, there's a lot of videos online about doing it. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a firmware thing. We were just talking about PSP, PS Vita. He said you can mod your PSP so it can play any game. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> titles, though. Let me warn you about that, though. Mostly all the X titles, like Xbox or um, PS2, I think, can emulate, but I don't okay. think it's PS3 yet. He's talking to your wife? Nah, uh, he's talking to his no. uh, co-worker, no. I think. No, he's not. No, he's not. Look at the lower left-hand corner of the screen. What does that look like? Oh, Mr. Buttram, I wish I could say good things about the Game Gear, but it was not a good system. Correct, Mr. Buttram. You see the lower left? Yep. You see the lower left-hand corner there? Is how it's all broke up? <laughs> oh, is that what he's doing? He's yeah. doing green screen. That asshole. He did it last time he was on, too. Oh, yeah, I can see it around the side of the arm there, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but Mr. Butcher, what, what you're forgetting is they had very bad caps. So what would happen is um, with using it within about three months, the audio would die out. And then three months later, you lose your screen altogether because the, the caps that they used in those, the capacitors, would leak like uh, anything. So if you ever find a Game Gear that still works, you got to recap the whole bloody machine. Um, other ones were known for leaky um, LCD screens where the LCD screen would actually leak and break for no apparent reason. They were terrible. That's why they pulled the, that's why Game Gear didn't do well in the States. If they concentrated on Making a little bit more battery efficient too would have helped a lot. Because even the batteries were crap in the machine. And I actually own, just to give you an idea, Mr. Buttram, I used to own a, the uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Um, I also owned a uh, Neo Geo Pocket. Uh, I also owned the Neo Geo Color Pocket. I sold those because people wanted to buy them off of me. What else did I have kicking around back here as uh, machines go? God, I can't remember how many machines I owned as a kid. But yeah, video games, you know, I know a fair bit about the video game system market and how it is nowadays. Hey, Ben, how's it going, buddy? Hey, Ben. Hey, guys. Hey, Ben. Hey, guys, just for fun. It's Brenton, He's man. controllers for the machine. I had original. <laughs> it's Brenton. I see that. Big. Ron, show that controller again. This is the small version. <laughs> the Neo Geo Pocket used something. Neo Geo used something similar, but it was more of the size. <laughs> Yeah, this is at 250%, Ben. And it ha I did find the one with no, I don't remember if you were here, with no um, support. Now, 
The Neo Geo uh, Pocket has something. Sorry, Neo Geo CD uses something similar like this, but still with a clicky style um, four-way controller, like this one. As you can hear the clacking. So take for instance this controller. The buttons are the size of my thinking thumb. To give you an idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, you and notice how we talk to each other. His co-worker. Which one looks like a toy? <laughs> okay. Hey, Ron, compare that again. Sure. So there's the first controller. My my nephew said that's nuts. <laughs> What's your what's your nephew what you doing at work? Ninety four, ninety five. What's your nephew doing at work? He's not at work. I'm not at work. Oh, you're green screening this, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> We've been talking about it. <laughs> I only figured you were doing. Yeah. It's because when I get Skype calls, then it's it's automatically in the background. Ah, great. Right. Right. I'll see you later, Go. buddy. Love you. So, yeah, um, talking about the um, my big toys over there. Uh, what were you asking about the Neo Geo when did it come out? Yeah. Let's have a look here. This one, I believe, was built in 95. Oh, let's you see. said that SNK Neo Geo? Yeah, SNK Neo Geo. This is made in Japan. This is uh, 8 watts. I got one of the earlier serial numbers. 1990 in Japan. Yep. This is 92, actually. I just checked the uh, model number on the serial number because the serial number that's on here is so in the low numbers that it's considered rare to find. So, so they discontinued it in 97 for hardware, not 2004 for software. Mm -hmm. It went that far into you being able to have games. They went under. It. They went bankrupt. SNK in Japan went bankrupt. And now they've uh, signed to come. Now it's been bought up by another company in Japan. Now it's called SNK Play More. Uh, they started making cartridges again for the system until 2010. Play More Corporation, yeah. yeah. Uh, August in 2001, it went out of business. It was open in 1978. Yep. SNK made a killing in the. Uh, in the home, in the console, in the arcade market, because they were the first ever arcade machine that you could pull out cartridges that used to go in. And they made a killing. Uh, one of the biggest games was the King of Fighters series. Yep, and every time they upgraded it, all they did was change part of the labeling on the outside and stick a new cartridge in the back of it. They yep. didn't even have to remove the machine. So it saved them a they saved them thousands on cabinets. Yep. Which is why if you find an original King of Fighters, that's why they're so damn expensive, because that means it was never updated. I am trying to find a cabinet for a Neo Geo, a uh, MVS, because the MVS has even more titles out there. Including the Neo Geo 64, which has only eight titles, and the cartridge is the size of an Xbox. I just look at on Joe's face. It's just like what? <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's crazy, man. I mean, I can understand it because you know people want to get into these retro games, especially nowadays. In the last five years, everything is all about the seventies and eighties, and somewhat the nineties. Um, you know, I'm 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 waiting for them to start like putting together some kind of game console that will do Nintendo, Super Nintendo. We, you know, we you everything all in one box, kind of like they have those those little uh, retro boxes. I'm waiting for them to do something like that. Yeah. 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 I'll have you say you're waiting for them to have like an all in one? Yeah. They already have those. No, 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 no. I mean, all the different consoles all at once. They do. Yeah, it's called RetroPie. Well, not no, just no, no, that. 
They I'm sell not... arcade machines that have Xbox, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, Nintendo, Switch, Wii U, Wii. It has all the games from every system on it. Yeah, yeah. it's called a PC. Yeah, it's called a PC. Right. Yeah. That's basically I, all it is. But I mean, like, like, uh, hey, so Mike, how's it going, Red Knight? The retro, you've seen the retro Nintendo boxes, right? Where it's yeah, just a little box and they stick everything into it. That's all they use. Not everything. Well, yeah, 500 classic games for 50 bucks. Okay, well, those ones you got to realize is that also is that the games are not always working great on those ones. But um, you take something like this that I'm holding in my hand right now is Raspberry Pi. You download something called uh, RetroPie, and it emulates almost every game system except for anything that's newer. Like the Xbox One, it can't re replicate. 360 it can't replicate, but it can replicate some of the old Xbox games. It can also do a lot of the old arcade games that are in main, which are stuff like uh, Dragon's Lair, if that rings a bell, or Space Ace. You can get those to work on the RetroPie. Dragon's Lair, D knows something about that. But that's long Huh? D. It's Mama Wiles. Oh, do you know something about Dragon's Lair? Yeah, he might actually have the disc somewhere around his computer. Oh, you're kidding me? The LD version, or are you talking just a video game? Or are you talking about the uh, uh, one that was reincorporated for a PC? Thank you. You too. Sorry, I'm grabbing lunch, guys. Um, yeah, D was just showing us his disc yesterday. He's got like the original Doom and all that. Wow. But Dragon's Lair came out on LD. <laughs> oh, the old laser discs, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, you're, lucky up, man. you're one of those people that own the arcade box. Those arcade boxes go for thousands of dollars. Yep. Because the LD players are hard to find that work with that system. So. Oh, okay, Joe. I want you to look up. I want you to write down this. Look at uh, on YouTube for John's Arcade. I don't know why it's not switching. Do what now? Oh, Look up John's Arcade on YouTube. Watch the first couple minutes of his opening. It'll blow your mind. Yeah, the guy is a uh, refurb specialist for uh, old arcades. Hey, guys, I'm going to oh, actually own three arcade companies now. Yeah, I'm going to be for a few minutes. I got a conference call. Yep. Whatever you, whatever, Bye, Joe. <laughs> we saw that joke. What did you do? Flip me off? Yeah, he's kind of flipping you off. Love you too, buddy. <laughs> uh, he's patting, he's patting himself on the shoulder. Guys, I'm going to go. I'll just put myself out before I go back to work. Catch you yeah. later. Have fun day at work, Eric. Who works? Oh, right. Unfortunately, I do. I know. I feel you there. <laughs> Have fun. So, Ben, I heard you like uh, why was uh, Mike Stragan, eh? He's doing a test for me. Yeah, yeah. silver filament he's playing with. No, Kira versus uh, Kira supports versus. The natural sports that are already on. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. The test. He's talking about the dragon I printed yesterday. Oh yeah. Of course I liked it. It's a fucking dragon. Watch your ass, Bob. All right, are we still live? Yeah, we're still live. Oh my bad. I didn't know. Uh, I know. With all these guys in here, usually that means we're not. Oh. No, it's just we're just hanging, but we're live. My bad. For a little while, I guess. Been a slow day. Hey, real life. Yeah, no kidding. I got an hour drive. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, tonight, sorry about my freaks. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. You're fine. Today is going to be fun. I am actually going to try to get the Ender printing tonight. Today. There it goes. I am going to reinstall... 
Timothy's oh Timothy's version of the uh, of Merlin firmware. Install the TH3D uh, sensor and hopefully figure out what's going on with the bed. What's that noise? And who knows, may I'll get a printout that tonight. Oh. Yeah, my bad. My, no, my truck's fine. annoying. Just asking. If I get a printout today, it'll be. I'll put it up on YouTube as the video of the playing. So. Well, that's yeah, a so funny joke. Huh? Because I think in here. Alexa, tell me a dirty joke. Thank you, broken. It better not be broken. <laughs> Alexa. Alexa, wake up. <laughs> Alexa, tell me a dirty joke. How's your problem, Alexa? Can we get a plugged in? Yeah, plugged in. Turn her off and turn her back on. I usually do all right, Buttram. <laughs> you know the old joke, have you turned it off and turned it on again? Yeah. Yeah, Buttram says that every time I ask about my retraction issues. Did you try turning it off and turning it back on again? <laughs> Alexa, tell me a dirty joke. Because it's too noisy in here. What? Alexa, reboot. It's kind of cute. Alexa, tell me a dirty joke. Well versed in uh, the program. Trouble, all right. I think it's on the other side of it. Right there. On the side of the pile. My favorite, my favorite thing when the ID10 person comes on the line. Oh, those were the days. As my friend used to go, oh, gr I see people get phone calls and then I see them do this. You know, I can't so watch them. Well, I mean, they're dealt with, well, you remember the back, back in the day when the VCRs used to have flash 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, because you can program them? Yep. And, you know, the comic guys, one comic guy has his line about being the 12 o'clock flasher, you know, try and get them online. You can't. We've had people call the office that were 12 o'clock flashers. Like, we classified them as 12 o'clock flashers. <laughs> oh, man. Some of those people. And just like, okay, do you know what a mouse is? Yes, that thing you move around your screen that has an arrow. Do you, is it working? Great. I want you to click on the button that says start. That's right. Go to control panel. Okay, tell me what control panel shows me. Okay, I want you to prep, you know, you had to walk them through it. It's like, oh my God. It's like, you want to just, you know, take the headset off, drive an hour to their place, pick up the computer, throw it in the back of your truck, and throw it out into the lake with some of those people. And just give them pen and paper. Mm -hmm. That's your Alexa, tell me a dirty joke. Alexa, tell me a dirty joke. Did you hear about the quesadilla on Tinder? It's hot, spicy, and super cheesy. Mm -hmm. Okay, it works, huh? Really pathetic, but it worked. This thing prints, it just looks so crappy because of the outside shell. It looks like it's just a total failure. Hello, my mouse. I hope not. The button on the side here, click it, calls up my Windows information, click it again, calls up all my information, click it again, calls up another page, click it, turn it off. Love this mouse. I there's the mouse. I, I totally have mine up the heat gun. Wow. My good lord. Wow. <laughs> you guys hear about the killing in uh, New Zealand? Oh. Am I from New Zealand? 
I got friends in New Zealand. That's why I know about this. Uh, basically, there was a shooting at a mosque. 49 people were killed. Nice. And they're now saying that this was planned online. Yeah, probably online. planned in America. Why was that bad? We'll get, bl we'll get blamed for it somehow. Hey, Drake, how you doing? No, they're not blaming the U.S., actually, from what I can read here. Give it time. Sure, Matt. Everybody blames all their problems on our president. Yeah, it's always our fault. Yep. It's always our fault. Now they come like a freaking way. Get on. Well, they caught the four people who were involved in it, but they said their websites that they used to go on were propaganda where it was all extreme right wing celebrating violence against Muslims and minorities on social media boards that they were on. I support the purge. They, they, they don't hate nobody. Raisins against nobody. They hate everybody. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Ah, let's go to the back. How are you going? Woo! That's a little scary. Look at American run. His face camera popped up on his computer. Oh, there's a crap right off. <laughs> oh, my good lord. This is kind of spooky. Um, the guy basically live streamed his assault against the uh, against when he broke into the one of the mosques. One of the mosques that they went in and started shooting. They were showing it live on Facebook. God. One of the guys he live streamed. It's it. like the shooting down here that killed the officer. The guy live streamed the whole thing on his Instagram. Yeah. That was live streamed on Facebook. So I kind of wish the cops would have live streamed the beating the hell out of the guy. All right. Well, have fun. Did you use the coupon code? Oh. Yeah. Coupon codes. Coupon codes. How's oh. that filming been working out for you, uh, Ben? Which Stop one? Watch, uh, Chris Riley sent you. Pretty good. I haven't broken into the orange yet. Ah. I used almost all the blue, though. Print's really nice. Very low tempo. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's like uh, 200 degrees Celsius. 190 on mine. Hmm? And 190. 190 on yours? Wow, okay. Uh -huh. If I printed it uh, anywhere 200 and above, I get the um, the sagging. Ooh, interesting. So I printed at yep. 200, it seems to be perfect for me. Well, yeah, you're farther north. It's colder. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much farther from you. Oh, yeah, you're about, what, eight hours north of me? I think I'm about only four. <laughs> four? Four hours north of me in Chicago. No, four is when I swim across the Lake Ontario. Yeah, hey, you have fun with that. <laughs> hey, Ben. Do what? Benny Brandy. I thought you were in Ohio. Am I correct? Yep. I feel I'm yeah, so Southern you basically... Now. Not that far away Southern. from you in, in most senses. Yeah, I mean, you're not far away from my state, but I'm still four hours from the north. Check it out here. Where do you say hi to Brandon? Brandon. Hello. Brandon. I'm saying hi, hi to everybody. I remember you. Okay. Ben says hi to everybody. I know you, Ben. Okay. Oh, Benny Bradley. Hey, Ben. How's it going, buddy? I 
I'd say a, an official high, but I have to rely on these guys to relay info. I can't pull um, up the chat. <laughs> ben is a big per. Ben is um is out in um Texas area. Texas. Yep. Yeah. Well, only two things come from Texas. Oh, dude, starting to hear that. He's sick in bed. He says. Oh, oh that's God. Not happy. Absolutely not. Um, yeah, that's right. I remember now. It takes me an hour or two. Usually. Oh, we start feeling better, Ben. Honestly, I mean that. Galda, are you out of power? Are you running well, like a generator or something? Backwards. Yeah. Galda just point close to the hang hawk. You got power back yet? Yeah, bad. Didn't know Ben was out of power. Should have been here earlier. He was talking about it. Wow. You show up instead of halfway through it. I guess Hawk has a generator outside. Yeah, the French folk have that. Yeah, I don't have a generator outside. It's in my garage. I used to have one, but I'd sell it. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> there is a. Uh, a refrigeration van next to me and it's uh company name is wang wang refrigeration i remember wang they used to make servers too no this is a local company not it's not a national company it's just funny uh -huh. probably good because in my in my business the common joke is we know how to bend people over well wang sure would know how uh, they were known for betting you over, eh? So, yeah, I'm supposed to... Yes, this is going... This is calling kind of funny. This money is still useful money. But uh, what's-the-face wants wants to buy it off of me. So I'll be bringing it to Murph for uh, good old uh, Robbie Mac. Roberto McElroy? Well, this is Canadian Tire Money. And he's like, oh, I love the Canadian oh, Tire Money back in the day. Gotta remember, he lived. Uh, he lived in um, where was it? He lived in. He lived at the border, basically. He was just uh, outside of Buffalo, but just in, um, but like only like an hours away from uh, from the border. So he used to go across the border to Canadian Tire to buy parts. <laughs> so he used to like the Canadian Tire money. So I figured oh, I'll give him some Canadian Tire money, bring him back some. Is he kind of that? Oh, I love the old Canadian tire money. Have John order your old that. Bring it to Murph. Thank you for your funny money. Your monopoly money. There you go, monopoly money, right there, man. About three dollars I have here. Uh -oh. Everybody's hawk hasn't even come on here, man. No, he doesn't come on. He don't like that. I see. Kind of a duty Ace camera shy. Douchebag, eh? Yeah. Good language. I mean, after all, it is a Friday. It usually does show up on a Friday, but... Yeah, I'm at work and I showed up. Come on. Yeah, Ben shows up. <sighs> the original Ben. I only just got Oh, whatever. You have a oh, yeah, whatever. Uh-huh. He just now got power back? 
So Apparently, that means that's in, about, he in about 45 seconds, you should be able to get on because that's how long it takes for me to get fully up, uh, booted on my computer. I think he's just trying to pull our leg here. That's why he didn't like, tell her so he didn't have to come on. He always got an excuse. If he's trying to pull my leg, you better be a power lifter. Hey, Ben. You've just been told to eat my shorts. <laughs> eat your specific shorts? I have or no eat idea his specific shorts. shorts. I have no idea. Hawk to put down, eat my shorts. Oh, so I'm guessing Ben wants me to eat his shorts. I guess. Calm down there, Dover. You'll be all right. <laughs> this, I'm just going to refer to Hawk as Benji. Don't have a cow, man. <laughs> Well, we're going to go all Simpsons on each other's butts. Thank you. As I said, thank you. Where am I going to oh, go? Where shall I go? I'm like going out of town. I like going out of town, too. I do it every day. No, you can pay the big bucks. Oh, Try to get a tri-state tour in the day. What about that uh, firmware update that they put out? That part's in it. Oh, I think so. Woohoo, crashing four miles. That's the firmware. Flanders okay. Field is sexy if I was a very sad poem. Flanders Field is row by row. Huh? It's row, row by row. Something's not happy. Yeah. Not happy thing at all, man. Hawk, I'm glad that you don't want to wear anything, but announcing to the world is not a good idea. I'm trying to keep it family friendly here. Why? It's required by, by Mike. <laughs> so Mike can get monetized, you know? Yeah. You make all that great YouTube money, 20 cents a month. Yeah, 20 cents a month. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, finally, they're seeing their, their pricing back to normal. Something that I've always complained about in Toronto Blue Days, when I go out to a game, it's usually expensive to get food and drinks. But they're finally listening to their fans. They now have hot dogs at $3, popcorn at $3, nachos and cheese at $5. Ice cream foam three dollars, bottled water two dollars, drink three dollars. I'm sorry, I'll buy the bigger ones. Hot dogs, those sound good. I have some hot dogs for lunch. Drive through. Thanks, Lori. Yeah. Your drive done. I just gotta make a roof. A roof. What am I making? Yeah. I'm making little guys like this for my D and D. Mostly, mostly rude comments and mistakes. And good. And good. <laughs> that's, that's what Joe's making. I want to have one. Do you want to have one of these? Okay, you can have. Hey, it. buddy, how you doing? Say hi. Can't believe we can't get to work like that. Say hi. Hi. 
Is it your office, right, eh? the camera over there. <laughs> Way high up there. Now the roof one. <laughs> So these can go round up at work day? Oh yeah, bring your kid to work. Yeah, kindergarten roundup at one o'clock. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kindergarten roundup at uh, at one o'clock today. So I got to jump off here about twelve forty-five, and I'll be back around two. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm having just exhausted today. It's been a long day. Well, like three times last night. So, what'd you do? He did something you don't. He slept. <laughs> no, actually, he got more sleep than I did. Actually, I think. Hey, Ron. So earlier, you were talking about the the pie. Um. Yeah, the Raspberry Pi. Um, have you ever seen it where, like, if you go into the web browser um, portion of it, the camera comes up and it says, uh, you know, waiting on media? Yep. I, it happens to me all the time, and then I have to restart the Pi. What it, camera are you using? Uh, version 2 Raspberry Pi. No, it's not like camera. Huh? Are you using the Raspberry Pi camera, or are you using the... This one. Okay, yeah. I just yeah. figured it might be that I don't have the cable set in there properly or whatever. That's usually it. Okay. I'll just have to reseat the... Take it apart and reseat that then. Let me see if I can find that uh, information. I did that program you. again that uh, you use to set up large files into smaller files. Or... Uh, a large object, so it will fit on the top. Is it? And also, you can make a large something large, and then you can cut it up, and it will fit on your print bed. And then you can oh. it. I forget what it's called. I always use mesh mixer for that. I can't use mesh mixer. For some odd reason, it's never been able to install correctly onto my computer. Maybe the new one of mine. I don't know. But on my desktop, it will not go. Mini Joe? Yeah, there you go. Oh, I gotta go over and some of that coffee again. Hey, Bobby Kitty! Oh. And I tell you, these goofy friends of mine that me send me messages. <laughs> okay, that's not the one I'm looking for. Is it this one that has it? I ever told you guys I, I, I feel sometimes like I have too, ma too many places to check messages? No, you never told us that at all. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, the My, I recently like enabled the the, the Instagram because it's attached to your Facebook. So now I'm getting like messages oh. all the time from uh, uh, double messages. Yeah. So I like messages from Facebook, messages from Instagram, messages from Twitter, messages from now this Twitch crap because everybody decides that hey, you gotta go to Twitch. Just turn off the notifications. God, I swear to God, my phone, my, my wife goes, who's messaging you all the time? She's like jealous. <laughs> like, I got friends. Oh, you should see hear my wife in the morning when I get up and I open up my phone, all the, uh, all the notifications I get overnight. Yeah. She's like, how do you live with so many notifications? I said, you see this button says clear all, that's how I live with them. Yeah. So it's just swipe left, ignore. <laughs> Basically. So see, this is why nobody ever responds to me. How do you make a bad 
I'm going to make you a brand new one of that. Yes. Once those guys are done, I'll start with a new one of that. Okay. Okay. Inside... Make him a flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> hey, Joe. Yeah. What you're going to want to do is uh, when you're looking at uh, solving problems with your camera, uh -huh. you look at my screen right now. You'll see I'm putting up some uh, text right now. This is the Octopi TXT file. Right. I got it open in um, Notepad Plus text. And, oops, sorry. It kind of disappeared there. Let me pull it back up. Boom. There we go. Full, full screen. In, starting at the beginning, it goes right through all the webcam options. So in here is where it tells you how to program the webcam properly. And it says, uh, if you got any issues that don't that, that aren't working out right, they want you to go to the github.com slash guy soft slash octopi slash issues and let them know the problem that you're having with octopi and they'll uh they want to know what's going on because they're trying to um fix some of the problems now uh just keep in mind that they just released a new version of octopi so that might have fixed the problem that you're experiencing i did let my octopi update itself so hey Ryan, you want to start it don't want to start what? Saying goodbye. Oh, okay. Well, let me first uh, turn my turn my video back on. So we will uh, have a hangout afterwards. You know, I mean, invite yeah. people in and have a private hangout after this. Okay. Where I can actually nope. speak more because I'll be allowed to cuss. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you guys have been so quiet. Now. Yeah. I can't help it. When I'm at work, that's just what happens. I can help you with okay, so anyway, since he wants me to kick it off, my name is Ron. I run the CMP, otherwise known as Canadian Maker Project. Love to see all the subscribers come over and say hi to us every so often. We go live with Daniel uh, once a month, but also uh, videos are coming soon. Unfortunately, it's just been a little bit of a printer issues I've been having, but I'm not. Yeah, come on down, say hi, check out our videos, and. Uh, let me know what you think. I do read comments and I do reply to others. So I'm a friendly person like that. Joe, you want to say something? Yeah, I'm Joe. Um, I talk too much. Uh, <laughs> I'm, huge in, I'm huge into D and D. Uh, you can check me out at uh, Three D and D Maker. Um, there's not much up there right now, but I'd love the subscribers. I've had an epic fail on getting back to getting a D&D &D session back together on Friday nights. Uh, ben is yeah. one of my players. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to work on that. I'm, I'm hoping that at Murph, maybe I could do a small game for whoever wants to play. And uh, that's just about it for me. Ooh, I'm up for some D&D. That's for sure. All right, Ben. It's all you, brother. It's all me. That's a scary thought. Yeah, well, it. most mostly everybody knows me as Craig 3D, but my name's Ben. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Craig 3D Gaming, uh, where I stream live video games while doing 3D prints that are either relevant to the game or just something I felt like printing. Other than that, that's really about it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks a lot uh, for coming, and um, thanks uh, for uh, coming on and hanging out with me today. I appreciate everybody for showing up, and... Um, I'm sending out some uh, links. If you want to come on in, either to the chat or into the hangout. So we will be back on uh, Sunday. Today is Friday. So we will see you then. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all.